Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to SCP Containment Breach. Last time we started a brand new playthrough of SCP Containment Breach, which is in my opinion, one of the most terrifying and best horror games ever made. The SCP universe is incredibly interesting. And in the last episode, we went through everything. We went through all of the SCPs in the light containment area. And I learned so many new things than I learned on my first playthrough. And we're gonna be doing the exact same thing for the heavy containment area in this episode. We're gonna go through all of the SCPs, figuring out all of the different interactions, because I was so impressed last time. Uh, there are so many more interactions between all the SCPs, and some of the SCPs are extremely useful to stay alive when being attacked by all of these other crazy SCPs, such as 173 Peanut, as well as the Plague Doctor. It's gonna be a lot of fun today. I can't wait to just dive in and have a great time, and I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go here it is we were just about to head in to the heavy containment zone by the way if you so uh the previous part is always linked over in the top right but what i learned last time is how useful some of the scps are in order to keep you alive this scp for example is a bracelet that will like connect with your body and then protect you from all kinds of sources of damage for example if the plague doctor tries to grab you he'll literally just stare at you and try to like break through the 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 bracelet but he can't this thing will send you i can show you right right here it'll if you put it on it'll send you to the fucking shadow realm Ooh, i need to get out of here i don't i forgot how scary this place is. <laughs> it'll send you to the shadow realm where you can stay alive or stay or escape larry which is scp 106 that keeps attacking us so yeah we have been using a lot of stuff but now we're gonna use our level four key card which is almost the highest to get in here oh there he is speak of the fucking devil goodbye larry <laughs> Goodbye, Larry. <laughs> Speak of the devil. And then he's immediately gone. Look how powerful that is. Yeah, he just immediately disappears. But <laughs> anyway, we need to keep this door open. We need to get through. Someone is dying. Oh boy. I don't know what horrors await me here. Oh, I need a key code for this. Wait a minute. I need a key code, but we had a few key codes, right? Does, does anyone still have the key codes? Oh yeah, I need to move my camera. Does anyone still have the key codes on uh, copy paste? 7553. That's not it. There was. It was 2656. Let's see. Does that work? That also does not work. Okay, so the both both of the key codes that we have do not work. So I guess we can't get in this area, but that doesn't mean we can't get into the heavy containment area, obviously, because there is tons of doors. So let's find a door that does actually work. Yeah, there we go. Does this door work? Let's see it. This one doesn't have. There we go. Oh boy. This is gonna be spooky, huh? <laughs> Let's see it. Where are we? There's many entrances to the heavy containment area, so we could choose one. I should really be close. <gasps> okay, I thought it, I thought one seven three was behind me there for a second. There's blood all over the floor. That's not very good. Peanut on vacation. Yeah, we haven't seen Peanut in a while, right? Dude, heavy containment looks so much more unfriendly. I'm gonna go left first. What we got right here. Doors are opened. We got an SCP. SCP-008. For your safety, level A garment protection required. I do not have that. Yeah, we can also use the navigator, by the way. There is no SCP nearby. This is the ultimate navigator you can get from uh, the fabricator SCP. We'll go down there in just a second. I just want to check around here for a bit. I should really be closing doors behind me, huh? Oh, hi there. What the fuck, sir? Get away from me. Ah! Run, run, run. <laughs> All right. I think I'll be going down here uh, to just to escape <laughs> the plague doctor. God damn it. Oh yeah, we do have a gas mask, but I don't think gas masks protect you against the radiation. CR08 is the zombie virus. Uh-oh. I'm gonna save the game here. Biohazard achievement? What? Uh-oh. High voltage. Am I gonna perish? Observation room. Decontamination area. Wait, did I just hear... I think... Is SCP-173 in here? 
Let me blink my eyes before I open this door. The key card was inserted in the slot, but nothing happened. Wait, is this Peanut? Oh, hi. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. He is in there. Danger. Peanut, what are you doing back there? What the hell? Wait, this is the zombie virus? I guess I'll be putting on this. You cannot carry more items. God damn it. I don't need the SCP. What is 005 again? Whatever. Oh, it's the key. I'll put on the suit. You put on the hazmat suit. Can I now open the door or do I have to... You cannot use items while... Here we go. Hi, Peanut. What is this thing? I should probably... I close it? Ah, I see. I, I am, dude, I am protecting this facility even though I'm leaving all the doors open. Hi there, Peanut. This is OG Peanut. The no longer allowed Peanut, but it's still in this game. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> also, if you have never seen SCP Containment Breach Ultimate Edition, this one has so many more SCPs. It's actually wild. Like, there's... 20 plus more SCPs in this one. Jeez, I thought Peanut was like falling from the sky, but I dropped the suit on the ground. Lol. Peanut here? Blink. The key card is required to operate the store. Hi there, fuck me. I wanna get in there, dude. Um, how do I get Peanut out of this? I wanna check what's in there, sir. You need to fuck right off? Um, mm, this is not a good idea, huh? I think I should leave. You know what? Maybe we can despawn him. Maybe we can cheese him. What if we go up and down the elevator? Abby, by the way, thank you for the sub. Wait, I need to scroll all the way up here. I'm missing stuff. Throw him a pop tart. How did Pe Peanut even get down here? SCP-49 here. Is he gonna leave now? CP-49 is insanely annoying. Not as annoying as Larry, although... I mean, Larry honestly doesn't even matter anymore because we have the... Excuse me. <laughs> Why are you whispering in my right ear, mister? Okay. Ah! Okay, what if I bait him out? What if I blink once? And then I back off behind him. And then I close the door fast before my character blinks again. And then I check what's in here. What is this? Okay. Connecting error. Unknown error. Reconnecting. Connecting error. Deploying incineration measures. Deploying irradiation procedures. I don't even know because I didn't... When I first played this game, I didn't even pay attention to any of the lore. I don't know if you can like figure out what even happened in the facility for it to all go so wrong. A known client, please state your identity and the reason to the denial. In case this message goes through, evacuating 008 surveillance room, incineration and irradi irradiation systems not functional, apparently disabled by an unknown client. Do not enter 008's chamber before it has been confirmed safe. Hmm. Oh boy. Someone gonna come in here? Is he gonna attack me? Oh, we have another we have a note. Okay, that's all we got. Nothing else in here. This is no document 008. We can learn about what this is. Special containment procedure. SCP-008 samples are extreme biological hazards and are all related and all related protocols apply. Incineration and irradiation measures will be deployed in the event of political or military action, which may result in the facility being dismantled or a power failure. If a, if a breach has occurred, incineration and ir irradiation measures shall be deployed. Description. SCP-008 is a complex prion, samples of which are stored in each of the known G2 sites. Traits of the SCP-008 prion include 100% infectiousness, 100% lethality, and transmission through exposed mucus brains, membranes and all bodily fluids. Symptoms of infection which SCP-008 include flu-like symptoms with high fever plus severe dementia in later stages, coma onset approximately 20 hours after first symptoms appear and 12 hours after noticeable dementia, coma onset will be considered onset of death. Red blood cells greatly increase oxygen storage capacity resulting in slow bl slower blood flow and increased muscle endurance and strength. Nervous and muscular systems are unaffected by total organ failure for several hours. 
metabolism may decrease to extremely slow levels, allowing subjects to survive for over 10 years without nutrition. Conditioned behavior, motor controls, and instinctive behavioral mechanisms are damaged, and con cognitive abilities are severely, word I shouldn't say, and erratic. Subject can adapt to its d damaged nervous systems, but is limited to basic physical activities, including standing up, balancing on two legs, walking, biting, grabbing, and crawling. Subject will energetically move towards sights, sounds, and smells it's asso it associates with living humans. Subject will attempt to in ingest living human if physical contact is made. Neutralizing fully infected subjects require significant cranial trauma. Addendum 0081, SCP-500 has been found to be able to completely cure SCP-008, even in the advanced stages of the disease. Okay, so if we ever become a zombie, we have SCP-500. We have the whole bottle, the, uh, the only... The entire uh, storage worldwide of SCP-500 is in our pocket. We have like 40 more pills and that's it. <laughs> SCP-500 is insane. Okay, anyway, uh, we're gonna have to get out of here and run past. Peanut! Peanut, no. Peanut, no. Peanut, no. Goodbye. All right, we did it. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing this for every single one of the SCPs. We're gonna be checking them out. Also, we contained it. Because it was opened and we contained it, which is cool. Uh, so yeah, let me save. We saved, we did SCP-008. Because we're trying to get all of the achievements. We've already been getting quite a lot of achievements. But we got a lot to do. Oh, fuck you, you piece of shit. <laughs> Every damn time, dude. I'm running away. Oh, this is the warhead. Omega, Omega lol warhead silo. Can we open this? A key card with security clearance level five or higher. Damn, okay. We need to remember where this is, by the way. Oh, SCP, they're both nearby. Whoopsie daisy. I have this on, right? Yeah, I need to keep the bracelet on because it's gonna protect me. What's out here? Not carry more items. I can just drop this on the floor. I wish you could put the SCP documents in the wallet. Uh blood stain note. Oh god, a wall broke down. Can I read this without being killed? God in heaven, hell. I think the wall cracked or the floors, ceiling. I haven't been up top in 12 years. I don't know which edge is top. When the locks dropped, the security walls released. Each subsection is sealed now. We're all caught off. So something supposed to be secured in this section, but the item overloaded, buffered the usual, bu buffered? The usual assignments. I can't imagine what the primary storage sections are like. I saw a concrete wall bulge. I mean bulge like a bed sheet with a naughty child underneath. Then just go back down. My teeth are feeling odd. Buggered? Oh, buggered. I see. We're, we're, we're talking in weirdo language. Oh, what is this thing? I should save. What do we, what do we got? I don't think I should touch that. Is there an SCP document about about this thing? Oh, here we go. It is SCP-513, object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-513 is to be suspended in a cubic meter block of gelatin and contained within a soundproofed climate-controlled cell. The gelatin must be inspected daily for any degradation or loss of integrity. Personnel performing the inspection are to wear earplugs and active noise canceling earmuffs at all times while inside SCP-513 cell. Any sentient being exposed to SCP-513 are to be monitored by at least two security personnel at all times. Description. Physically, SCP-513 is an unremarkable rusty cowbell. No marks or engravings are visible on its surface due to the large amount of corrosion. Any noise produced by SCP-513 immediately induces strong anxiety in all sentient beings who hear it. Exposure victims report feelings of being watched by an unseen entity and present elevated and present elevated heart rates and blood pressure. Roughly one hour after exposure, exposure victims begin to catch glimpses of SCP-513-1. When opening doors, walking past mirrors, turning their heads, or performing any other actions that result in a sudden change in visual perception. 
Upon being sighted, SCP-5131 reportedly turns away and runs out of view before disappearing without a trace. Descriptions of SCP-5131's appearance are largely unreliable. Test subjects are unable to provide complete accounts of sightings due to their exhaustion, degraded mental health, and disruptive hypervigilance. However, all interrogations thus far indicate that SCP-5131 is a tall, emaci emaciated humanoid with abnormally large hands. Well, what could possibly go wrong? Let's ring the bell, shall we? Let's save the game and ring the bell. Oh boy. If you ring it, he will come. I'm gonna say that. Uh oh. What have I done? Is he gonna. He's gonna come? You open the box? Ding dong? What have I just done? You're gonna be a monster here? Oh, hi there. What the fuck are you? What the hell was that? You see the thing? It was massive. What did you get? Oh, I hear creepy noises. Am I gonna die to this guy? <laughs> it's SCP-666. What's going on? I don't want to go there. I gotta have my gas mask ready. Oh, come on, mister. Fuck off. I'm busy with another SCP. Dude, look at this smiley face through the floor, man. Every I need to leave this place. I hate it here. All right, goodbye. Ding dong. Ding dong. I'm totally fine, right? He's not gonna kill me. What's the worst that could happen? Let's put on the gas mask and get through here. Ring the bell for good luck. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't save right now, should I? <laughs> oh, achievement, isolated incident. Pretty sure the bell is gonna eventually kill me or not. Don't, don't save the game. What if I look in the mirror? Don't save. <laughs> you guys, don't save, you're gonna die from the bell, really? What's the bell gonna do though? Let's read this while we're waiting. Wait, just dropping it on the floor doesn't do anything? It said after an hour, it's gonna take a while. What do we got right here? Jesus Christ, this is a long one. Uh, as special containment procedure, subject is to be contained within a sealed storage tank of heat-resistant alloy with dimensions not less than 14, me 14 cubic meters. Under no circumstances should SCP-9, which by the way, one of the early SCPs, I don't even know, the numbers are not related to uh, their like age, right? They're just random. Uh, should SCP-009 be exposed to temperatures in excess of zero degrees when not undergoing testing, and no mundane liquids in a solid state shall be allowed within 30 meters of the subject's containment area. Subject's chamber is to be fitted with temperature sensors, which shall be... I, I, the bell is still making me nervous. I'm getting anxiety from the bell, as it said. Um, Within 30 meters of the subject's containment area, subject's chamber is to be fitted with temperature sensors which shall be monitored at all times and is to be kept refrigerated by no fewer than three redundant cooling units. Any malfunctions of sensors or of coolant systems is to be reported and repaired immediately. If at any time the temperature in the containment area climbs above minus five, the chamber is to be locked down immediately and flooded with coolant under the, until the temperature has been brought back down to between minus 30 and minus 25. Atmosphere must be evacuated from, from the containment area when personnel are present within, and any water vapor present must be filtered and kept in the same conditions as detailed herein for no fewer than 24 hours. Oh God. Any vapor displaying properties of SCP-009 is to be quarantined and added to the containment area as soon as possible. Someone is attacking me. I think it's SCP-49. I'm running through the, the shit. Stay away from me. I still wonder what the bell is going to do. Oh! Oh! Everyone's coming all at once. Get the fuck away from me. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Don't blink, dude. Okay. Close that door. Anyway, I'm reading this. 
Um, if it, I should take this off. It's annoying as fuck. Do you think? No, the, I didn't have the. I wonder if this could protect you from the bell. I'm pretty sure this could protect you from the bell, which would be very interesting. Because you you can't really hear it, right? You're too tired. Uh, possibly. Um, what am I was I reading? If at any time, blah blah blah. Um, any vapor displaying properties of SCP-009 is to be quarantined and added to the containment area as soon as possible. Description. 009 is approximately 3,700 liters of a substance which exhibits a number of unique properties. En masse, it takes on a distinct deep red hue. Its most notable properties is the fact that SCP-009's reaction to the temperature extremes is exactly the opposite of that, that of standard H2O. The subject assumes a liquid phase at temperatures between minus 100 and zero and converts into a solid state above those temperatures. At temperatures below minus zero, SCP vaporizes into a gaseous phase similar to steam. Examinations of the atomic structure of SCP-009 have proved inconclusive. Tests indicate that the subject is composed of same combination of hydrogen and oxygen as normal water leaving researchers to speculate that the source of the subject's abnormalities may be the atoms themselves. Dr. Blank has suggested that the subject may have originated in or been altered by another reality in which the laws of physics are inverted. This theory may have some merit in light of SCP-009's marked ability to assimilate natural water into its mass. If placed in physical contact with any aqueous solution, SCP-009 will spread and contaminate any H2O in said solution, causing it to exhibit the subject's properties. If the subject cons comes in contact with any biological source of heat, it begins a runaway reaction in which the living organism's bodily fluids are rapidly converted to SCP-009 and promptly frozen by their own body. <laughs> All right, well, what could possibly go wrong? Let's walk in there, shall we? Oh no, there's gonna be SCP-49 at the other side of the store, right? Here we go! That's, 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 am I gonna die? Oh! You feel burning in your left leg? Help! I'm stuck. Sickness has taken hold of me. Can I walk out of this? I can't. I'm, I'm wobbling. He's wobbling. I'm freezing in my own body. Oh, I'm bleeding. Yep, of course. What if I take SCP-500 now? Will this somehow cure me? Taste of immortality. You swap. No, I'm dying. <laughs> Wait, also, that was our last pill. We have only one pill. That's problematic. I thought we had way more pills. We should take a pill at the end of the game, though, to get our... Did you have to take this off? Remove the bracelet. This is way slower. If your body would freeze, you would like instantly perish. <laughs> How the fuck am I still alive? Well, seems like everything is out to kill us, but nothing is quite able to do it. All right, never mind. I'm going slow. I like that not everything is like instantaneous, which is actually like really fucked up in this game. Because sometimes you'll interact with an SCP and then you don't realize that you're dead. But you are actually- oh god, it's this guy. I don't want to deal with you. Oh no. CP49 is there. This shit is never gonna kill me. Alright, anyway, load the game. You get it, I'm gonna freeze and eventually die. <laughs> it seems like it takes a while though. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly just grab this bell, just for the achievement, and then- It didn't ding, right? We're fine? Now we got the achievement and we're just gonna leave that on the floor. What would happen though? Do we got any lore masters in chat? What would happen if I were to let the bell continue? Would it eventually... Like, would it kill me? How would it kill me? Oh, we have an isolated incident again. According to the wiki, the tall guy will just talk to you. The bell summons a beast that kills you. Oh, there's a new creature that you spawn that will that will stalk you. I see. Interesting. Okay, that's just that's concerning. But anyway, let's talk to this other SCP. Oh no! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! 
Everyone's out to kill me, man. Close the door. And then, oh, I can't go. What if I... You place your palm in a scanner. The scanner reads, DNA does not match known sample. Access denied. What about this hand? Fuck. <laughs> Are you there? Damn it. You're so fucking annoying. All right, I'm just gonna leave. I need to go there, though. I want to talk to SCP-35. I know you're in here. Are you here? Ah, you suck. What if you get him to fall into the... <laughs> into the... Ah! Nope, 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 nope. I gotta open this door and loop him around somehow. Oh, there's a blocked off door here. We can loop him, right? What is this? I hear you breathing. Can I loop him? Here we go. Woo, get looped. No, he closed the door, what a piece! Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I can't close that. Open the door, open the fucking door! Okay, go around. I'm not touching the water. This is fine, right? Will I die if I just go into this room or am I okay? Oh god, let me in here. What is this? SCP-35 Object Class Keter. Oh no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. A clearance of five or higher? This is our highest. Are you kidding me? I can't get in here, man. Braces will save me. This is the... We need a level 5 clearance for this shit, man. Okay, where's this dude? Are you kidding me? He's right there. Fucking asshole. Alright. That's the mask. We're gonna have to come back there later once we have a level 5 clearance. That means it must be really... Isn't level 5 clearance literally like the O5 council? Like the founders of the SCP Foundation. Wait. Excuse me. What are you doing down there? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Is he gonna die? Sir, what the fuck? Why are you spinning in a circle? <laughs> anyway, whatever. I'll leave you to it. Have fun over there. Let me close this door. Oh, nothing happened. Okay. What was that note we found? We should read it. What is this note? Oh boy. Um. Uh, what the fuck? Here lies him. I don't know. Can you listen? I swear he's there on the inner side of the wall listening. I can hear his teeth. They sing like a power line pitched to make your bones squeak. I wish he could just kill me. Kill them. No. I report- I report lies. Lies to the bone. He doesn't kill anyone. He- Not really. They die later. Die of wounds in a dish- or additions. Or tensions, but no. He pulls them into his box and- Oh, this is Larry. And then he makes the ma- Then makes the maze. He cradled someone in barbed wire. Touching them while they try to scream. Though through shredded tongue. He owns the rules there. He's God there. On the all and one. What if it's here too? Something is making all this to torture us. Make an ant farm just to have targets for a magnifying glass. My molars fell off, fell out. It was black. I don't have it anymore. Will you, won't you, won't you will. He is slow. He has time, endless time. The group's unconsciousness of the lean, cruel and powerful. Is he it the, on the, I can't read this last part. You may outrun him, run around, run, blah, 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 blah. And it means no. He just keeps going, watching, smiling. I hate this place. Okay, this is just someone dying in like, Larry's fucking shadow dimension. Okay, let's try our codes. We had five, six, four, six. And then we had five, seven, seven, five, five, three, right? Fuck! 
or 7552 dang it pressed i pressed the wrong that's not a five wait what all right did i press the wrong button uh and then you, we said two six five six oh i tapped the wrong button let's go <laughs> nice incredible okay we don't even we we have a shortcut one of our codes worked we have we could go into the maintenance tunnel though but i'd rather check up here oh. i think therefore i am did you hear that i think this is the computer scp talking through the intercoms the like sentient computer oh that's interesting okay we're just oh what the fuck what was that brother <laughs> what was that jump scare <laughs> i've never seen that before <laughs> nice try larry fuck was that get absolutely outplayed i'm gonna save the game Ooh. oh no i hate this area i know i'm going somewhere else first i hate this area there's some real scary scps down there i don't like them i don't like him we got scp 49 that is wait a minute can we go through here with this hand let's go down to scp 49 we know he's not at home he's spinning around on the fucking ice thing <laughs> vikamu thank you for the 10 gift subs thank you oh no the power fuck we got a we got a leaflet uh-oh research docked okay here we go we need to go straight through into the secondary power control. Research sector two scheme. Okay, we just walk straight. Do we have we don't have any night vision? Uh oh. I might regret going through this area. There's a dead person there. I think I'm gonna save the game. Even though I'm gonna I'm gonna be fucked down here, I'm still gonna save the game. Isn't this the there we go. Alright. Oh, hi there! Fuck you! No, no, no! Oh, zombie man. Hello, zombie man. Could you please have any AI whatsoever? Uh-oh. Anyway. Oh, come on. They're all here. Zombie man! Come over here. Zombie man! You can't hit me. What the fuck is going on here? Pick up the notes. There's a key card. A level four key card. We already got one though. We already got one. What am I? This is no longer important. I want this. Fuck. We got another level four. Interesting. Can I read this while not dying here? Special containment procedure. SCP-49 is to be contained in a secure. So this is the plague doctor. Oh come on. Is this? Is there anything here? Dang it. All these people. I think I'm just gonna keep that on me and read it later. They're trying to kill me. Run in here. Okay. Oh, there's a mech kit, but we don't need a mech kit where we're going. Maybe we do, though. Is this severed hand ever gonna come in useful? I don't think it is. What is this? Elevator power. It will? Yes, it will. Okay. Refine? What do you mean, refine? should keep it okay do we just leave oh god oh you piece of shit <laughs> going to the parade idiot where is is he stuck somewhere this idiot hi open the door open oh god i'm out of stamina Can I open this door? I can't. All right. Whoa. There we go. It looks nice. So this is where you could have naturally found a level three key card if you didn't get lucky on the machine. Because I got extremely lucky on SCP-914. Remember, we made a ourselves a level four key card by putting in a level three one. But it's apparently not. Am I going down further? Oh, here we go. Anyway, I want to read this. Uh, and also save the game. 
Um, SCP-49 is to be contained in a secure holding cell in research sector, sector blank. SCP-49 is to not to be removed from its cell unless approved by a level two or higher personnel. Level two or higher? That's not very high. What is it? It's Euclid, okay. Um, before which SCP-49 must be heavily sedated. SCP-49 is a humanoid in appearance, standing at 1.9 meters tall and weighing 95 kilograms. However, the foundation is currently incapable of studying its face and body more fully, as it is covered in what appears to be the garb of a traditional plague doctor from the 15th to 16th century Europe. SCP-49's touch is invariably lethal to humans. After contact with SCP-49's hands, the victims hereafter referred to as SCP-49-2 dies within moments. SCP-49 will then produce a bag made of redact uh, redacted containing scalpels, needle, thread, and several vials of an as of yet unidentifiable substance. From somewhere within its body, research has been unable to locate these tools when inside of SCP-49 and begins dissecting SCP-4092 as well as inserting various chemicals into the body. After approximately 20 minutes, SCP-49 will sue SCP-4092 back up and become docile once more. After a period of a few minutes, SCP-4092 will resume vital signs. However, SCP-4092 seems completely without higher brain functions and will wander aimlessly until it encounters another living human. At that point, SCP-4092's adrenaline and endorphin levels increase to approximately 300% as it, as it attempts to kill and blank any human beings it can find. What is going on? Before returning to its mindless state and wandering until it comes across more humans. At this state, termination with extreme prejudice is allowed. What are these sounds, brother? Okay, so he turns people into zombies, basically. They're not the same as the 008 zombies. Understood. Okay, what's going on in here? This is another... Can I open this with this hand? Cannot. That's cool. Uh, you finally read about... This door's just locked. I'm in a different area now. Oh, God. What's going on? Oh, I remember these. These are fucking terrifying. SCP-966... Uh-oh. Save the game. I hate it here. Oh. You feel like something is following you. Oh, no. Do I? Feel like something is following me? My saint, my... I put this on. Put on the gas mask and breathe. I still don't... Oh, God. I hear footsteps. I feel like something is in the room with me. I, wa I walked into something. I walked into something. Isn't there a... What did we drop? We dropped this. There's night vision here. Night vision? Put on the night vision. You, you need to take off the... I was taking off the glass. Oh. oh, there he is. Look at them. You can only see them with the night vision. Oh, this is fucked. These are, they stress me out so much. Okay, we got a night, we got night vision goggles now and we can see those like invisible creatures with that, which is a very concerning. What more do we got? We have SCP-409. Sure, I'll, exp I'll check it out, but we got night vision now, which is good. What can I even drop at this point? I want to keep this, I want to keep this. Obviously need to keep all that. Wish I could get more inventory. Also my, fuck, my, my character is, my character is hurt. Is that bad? Oh, it's a Keter. Is it? Am I gonna die? What happened? Why is my... Why am I hurt? I don't understand. CP-409 and maintenance. Oh, it's a Keter. I am dying? How am I dying? I didn't get hit by anything. Object class Keter. Crystal death. Okay, don't no thank you. I'll read the I'll read the message first if you don't mind. <laughs> You're exhausted because I encountered 966. Wait, this looks broken. Alright, well I guess we're going in here. 
When you touch 966, you get exhausted. Okay, that's annoying. Is it ever going to go away? Or do I have to use... I guess we could use SCP-500 because we don't really... Like, having this on our person forever... I mean, it would be interesting to experiment with it. Ah, oh, what's this? Oh, there's a note. Don't use it now. Use it on this SCP. Let's drop the... Something around for a sec. Special containment procedure. No physical contact may be made with SCP-409 for any reason. Anything making physical contact with SCP-409 must be contained in quarantine immediately, along with any material used in the transport of the subject. SCP-409 must be kept in a granite case at all times. Description. Any object coming in contact with SCP-409 will begin to crystallize. This effect will occur in any material other than granite. The crystallization will convert the entire object or organism inside and out. Subjects report this effect to be extremely painful and similar to frostbite. After complete crystallization, the object will begin to make snapping and creaking noises for approximately 20 minutes before bursting into a thousand fragments with great force. It's like a spreading crystal that like explodes its crystal seeds around. Time to touch it. Oh, there's someone on the ground. Wait a minute, I'm gonna save here. And then see what happens. That person is a crystal. What do you got though? You got something? Wait a minute, what's that? Can't carry any more items? Fuck. <gasps> what? Holy shit. I found SCP-005, excuse me. Okay. So this is the key that opens every single door. Are you kidding me? All right. <laughs> Damn, dude. I'll keep that. Don't mind if I do. Nice. Why would he go in here? What is he doing? Okay. Um, what happens if I touch this? Do I die? Touch the crystal. Just fucking do it. See what happens. I can't? Am I, di am I dying now? Go back to 35? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will I die? I've touched it. I'm teabagging it. I have the, uh, yeah, I have the SCP bug. Does this not do anything? All right, I guess I'm fine. Anyway. Oh, uh, the, the bug scared me. You might still want to reload. Am I dying? Am I okay? I already saved the game anyway. I mean, maybe we should take SCP 500 now. Wait, what? You will die in three hours? Don't save for now? The bracelet saved me, maybe? I take SCP-500 now? People are telling me I'm, I'm in grave danger. It slowly kills you? What the hell? Why did my camera just turn? All right, we'll take SCP-500. Reload. I'm pretty sure I already... I saved after picking up the key, right? Did we just take SCP-500? And then we also get the achievement for it. Let's do it. Is that gonna... You swallow the pill, your body is getting warmer and the crystals are receding! Look at that, there you go. I didn't even realize I was I was getting attacked by the crystal, but we got rid of it, nice. All right, I think, I think we're gonna do that. Cause then we can... Otherwise we can't use the key, right? Cause the key is gonna like spread the crystals to me. If I pick up the key, I'm gonna get crystallized. So now we have the key without dying because of SCP-500. Nice, okay, cool. I'm saving. SCP-500 is no more, but I'm fine with that. I'm fine with SCP-500 being no more. Um, we... I picked that up, right? Yeah, I picked it up. We got an achievement and we got SCP-005, dude. Nice. I'm assuming SCP-005 is not gonna constantly kill us if we use it or what? Using on the corpse was a waste. It's fine, dude. You can still get a cup of life from the drink. I don't know what you guys... You, you gotta keep in mind that we're figuring this out as we go, right? We're not gonna play everything optimally. I'm just gonna explore everything, though. Cool. So we got the key. A key card is required to open this door. How about the ultimate key? You hold the key close to the slot. Look at that. I've already been in here. Oh, God. It's this place. Oh, no. Run. Fuck you, dude. Get away from me. What do I do? Ah! 
I hate these. I hate these. I hate these so much. Oh god. Oh, they attack. What am I supposed to do? Do I just go? The door appears to be locked. How about this key? Goodbye. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going away from you guys. That's for sure. <laughs> they shouldn't hurt you. I have the bracelet, but the bracelet only takes a... It only takes so many... Ah! <laughs> I don't want to be here. You get out of the fucking elevator, you dick. Okay. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Okay, goodbye. I don't think that's better. Let's keep this this on. Yeah, I want to get through their rooms, but these guys are... Oh, my God. Oh, all right, it's fine. Here we go. All right, get the hell out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. What's this? It's an elevator. Can we take it? Elevator appears to be broken. All right, rip -roni. Save the game. What is this? Caution. Admit us all... Authorized personnel only, like me. Yup, that's me. What we got here? Oh, we have a battery. I'm gonna refill. Oh, let's drop this on the floor and refill the, the, the night vision goggles. Nice. Replace the batteries. Uh, we got a level three key card. We don't need that stuff. We should have a mech kit now, though. The eye drops will, uh, Heal your eyes, I'm assuming. We'll keep the mech kit. Even though we're probably not going to get hurt in any way. I think the eye drops are going to be very important. We don't really... We don't need this key card because we already got... I guess we could always save the key card. For whatever reason. Man, it's so cool. We have SCP-005. Drop the radio. We should... Have we used the radio recently? Fucking elevator music. Does the radio do anything? Someone please anyone. Ah, you fuckos! They're everywhere, man. They're so annoying. Okay, 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 okay. The other one is stuck. God damn it! Okay, close the door. You fuckos. Take that off. There's a ducky! Ducky? Can we touch the ducky? I cannot touch the ducky. Where am I even going? I'm lost in heavy containment. This is not good. Anomalous ducks? <laughs> I just got ducky achievement. Let's go. Maintenance room, SCP-079. Wait a minute, that's the computer, right? Wait a minute. We called the elevator. Oh, baby. It's computer time. We also should go back to 35. We're, don't worry, we're gonna do everything. As I said, we're gonna give the full thorough treatment to the heavy containment as well. We're going to go through every single SCP that we that, that exists. We're not going to miss a single one. We have SCP-79. It's a little dark. Is that just me? I think we can't turn up the gamma too much, though. Maybe like that. Can I open this? Key card is required to operate the store. Dead person. You have a gun, though, that I somehow can't pick up. Oh, I remember. I remember. <laughs> On my first playthrough, I opened this door. I don't know if you... Let's see. Can you actually do this? Yep. <laughs> you can squeeze through, and then you're soft-locked, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to be in here. <laughs> so you have to reload. You're not supposed to be able to get in there yet. 
<laughs> but you can if you uh, clip through the door like that. But anyway, we're not supposed to be there yet. That's gonna be later. <laughs> oh, X. I I did that on my first playthrough, and I was like, chat went absolutely crazy, and I was just like, what? What, what happened? <laughs> Didn't I just do what I was supposed to do? And they were like, no, dude, you just glitched the entire game, you idiot. I was like, what? Okay, anyway, we're going somewhere else. I need to have this on because they might be around every corner. Uh, what's this? SC oh, I remember this guy. And I need to take this off. SCP-895. Cognito hazard. I love myself a good cognito hazard. Oh, this guy. Save the game. Observation room. Can I carry more items? God damn it. Let's see it. Special containment procedures. SCP-895 is sealed, closed, and stored in an isolated underground containment cell at the depth of approximately 100 meters. No cameras, microphones, or other surveillance equipment may be brought within the 10-meter red zone radius of SCP-895 without express permission from at least two level 3 personnel. The SCP is an ornate oak coffin recovered from the blank... Mortuary by SCP personnel on some date. Following reports of unusual footage captured by surveillance equipment installed at that location. Upon attempting to open the SCP. Oh, come on, dude. You fucko, what are you doing down here? Upon attempting to open the SCP, agents on location found the object empty. However, observ observers viewing the live camera feed were data expunged. Until further notice, SC the SCP must remain closed at all times. Oh my god, this is so fucking annoying. The SCP causes disruption in video and photographic surveillance. How do I even escape this guy now? You coming? You're not trying to harm me, but you're extremely fucking annoying. You are the cure. What if I just go into the shadow realm for a second here? And then read it. Uh, causes disruptions in video and photographic surveillance equipment within 50 meters. Similar to vivid, disturbing hallucinations with variable duration and regularity corresponding to the camera's proximity to SCP-895. Within a range of five meters from the SCP, footage captured can cause severe psychological trauma and hysteria in most subjects. These disruptions do not extend to observers physically present within the area. Okay, so if you look through any camera, you will... Oh my god, he's still here, you fucko. Ah, fuck you. Is that what was going on over here? Wait a minute. Because there's a camera feed of it, right? Oh yeah, it zooms. Wait, what the hell? More of those flashes in the camera feeds today. I'm sick of reporting them. All I get is another psych eval for my trouble. Fine, let command suddenly see a skinned dog head pop up on the screen and see if it's an issue then. If I'm looking at it, it like sucks my vision. I'm not doing anything. I gotta... Go get out of my room. I'm playing Minecraft. Fuck you. <laughs> Come here. Oh no, there's another dude. God damn it. I can't go in here, right? Oh. Okay, what the fuck? What the frick am I supposed to do? Can you leave, sir? Oh my god, he gets stuck on everything, this idiot. Oh no, there's someone in this room. Alright, can we quickly go through... I just want to interact with this video footage. And like, look at it. See what happens. Alright, let's save the game. Oh, no, 
no, he's coming in here. You fucking dick. All right, I'm just gonna look at it with my night vision. What could possibly go wrong? Because if we look at it, there's nothing, right? Oh, oh, come on, dude! Everyone is being so fucking annoying. God damn it, Larry, too. <laughs> anyway, can you guys just leave? If I stay in here for a sec, will I be able to walk out? Dude, look at this place. One crazy place, huh? Alright, let's get out. Oh, we got a key card, a level three key card. What happens if I put on my night vision? What the fuckity wuckity what? It's looking into a direction. Oh god, I'm going crazy. Uh oh. Uh, uh. What the fuck? <coughs> Help. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Alright, don't put on your night vision. Glass D viewed SCP-895 through a pair of digital night vision goggles, killing him. Okay, stupid. Anomalous ducks. Orange healing ducks. While duck does not appear to possess any clinically significant healing or painkilling properties, if held by a subject suffering from a minor or significant injury, subject will subsequently find injured areas covered with a proportionate number of band-aids, regardless of the nature of the wound. <laughs> what? Anyway. Okay. Um, I need to pick this back up. Drop the SCP note. Grab this. I need to go down there, though, for the achievement. Also, it seems like SCP-49 is gone. Never mind, he's still there. We want to get all achievements. Oh my god. Is that- is this cri cri scripted? This might be scripted, actually. Is Larry showing up here? The dick. Larry is always here. Nice try, idiot. Oh, there's- a oh, and there's night vision goggles here, so that you can kill yourself like an idiot. <laughs> Lol. I'm collecting all the key cards. It's like my key card collection. Look at this. You are the cure. You're also a penis piece of shit. How about you look at this? Come on. All right, run. What the fuck? Uh, rip that guy. <laughs> Where did he come from? Feels like something is in the room with you. Are you kidding me? Oh God, I just walked past you. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm a, I'm I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I have decided I will leave. <laughs> we cannot. Can we go in here now? Wait, we needed a level five, right? But we got now. Oh no, this is the room we already checked. Wait, can we go into the Omega Low Warhead though? Wait a minute. The ducky. Yeah, we saw the ducky. 49. Can it even open doors like this? Dude, this is insane. <laughs> oh no. Wait, this thing is actually busted? It, what? It's a it's an open everything key. I don't even need the hands anymore now, do I? This thing is just gonna open everything I want. Okay, this is where we went through. What is whispering at me? What the fuck, dude? Can you chill the hell out, brother? It's the master key. Okay, this area... I want to get to SCP-35 first, because that's the area... Another annoying area. I think that leads to Chai Guy. Where is SCP-35? It's not over here. It's through the maintenance tunnel, I think, or through that area. Because I want to have a chat with him. I think it's through this way. Right? This area? Yeah, here we go. Okay, well, I can open this door now. <laughs> this is incredible, dude. What a fucking key. Oh, the door appears to be locked. Okay, anyway, here we go. 
Let's see what we can find here. SCP-35, object class Keter. This, this is our first Keter, right? I think. The most dangerous. Hi there. Curtains down. Oh, I can barely hear you. I'm gonna turn. Oh God, no! <laughs> Fucking load. I meant to turn up the volume. Oops. Let's turn up the volume before we talk to him. Uh, audio, volume. Let's turn it up the a hundred. Cause this guy's quiet as hell. I remember that. Oh God. found me. I thought I was done for a moment there. <laughs> Hi. I can get us both safely to the surface. Just find the control panel in there and open the chamber doors for me. Uh, you don't look very trustworthy, my guy. <laughs> you're a Keter. You're the first Keter SCP I find. And you're trying to Among Us lobby me? I'm not doing this. Addendum. SCP-35. Oh. What are you waiting for? I will not. I think I'm just gonna. What, oh, what the hell is that hand? All right. I admit it. I wouldn't blame you if you don't think I look trustworthy. But please, I need your help and quickly. The mask has been stuck to my face for some time now, and I think I might need medical attention, or it might kill me from the inside. Just let me out, and I can find us an exit in a matter of time. Sussy was he? I have gas valves. Can you help me against right, this? Look, if you still don't think I'm trustworthy enough, there's a locked storage room behind you. You probably noticed that it's guarded with a four-digit passcode. Inside is some useful equipment. Yeah, you know I can open it with the well, fucking key, element. idiot. Nice the try. Is 5731. I already opened it, you penis. 5731. <laughs> What's... See? Did he have... Trust me. Okay, what? Now, did he actually... Five? What did he say? Five zero three one five seven five. Let's see if he actually spoke the truth. Five seven three one. Ah, Mister, he the. We got an SCP five hundred. Holy shit! Let's go. We have another SCP five hundred. That's insane. That's huge. Okay, I actually want to read this though. Is he gonna keep talking to me? I want to read this. In light of the mass, you know, oh. the task force will be entering the facility any minute now. Guess what they do to stray class D's like you? Hey, what? Why is the door? It's broken. The wall is broken over there. Is that normal? Do we, am I fucking up this? Like, am I doing it bad? I'm just reading, man. Uh, of the members of the research team tasked with translating the passages garnered from SCP-35's containment cell, the morale damage in the area and general loss of staff leaning with SCP dealing with SCP-35 to either death or insanity. It has been decided to coat the inner and outer walls of its containment cell with SCP-148, which by the way, I didn't talk about that yet, but there's like three major classes of SCP. There's safe, Euclid and Keter, which are like the ascending levels of difficult to contain. Fine. Good luck getting out all on your own. Wait, what? Sir, I'm just reading. I'm going to let you out in a second here. Just give me a second. Um, and then there's also Thaumiel, which is a class that is uh, a class of SCPs that is used to contain other SCPs. And apparently SCP-148 is one of those, which is proven well in the containment of SCP-132. See document 132-1. In order to hopefully block out the high levels of negativity being emitted by SCP-35. Addendum 3509. The use of SCP-148 has worked well, causing morale and rat rat rates to return to pre-SCP-35 rates. However, the material appears to facil facilitate the negativity within the cell, causing a veritable greenhouse effect inside. Personnel inside the cell have stated that they feel a heavy sense of dread, fear, and anger, and general depression, as well as hearing. <laughs> what the fuck? Constant. 
nearly inaudible whispering upon immediate entry. A prolonged stay causes severe migraines, tendencies, heavy hemorrhaging of blood vessels around the eyes and inside the mouth and nose, general hostility to others and for the whispering to increase to almost deafening volumes. Okay. And then this one. SCP-35. Here we go. SCP-35 is to be kept within a hermetically sealed glass case, no fewer than 10 centimeters, 4 inches thick. This case is to be contained within a steel, iron, and lead-shielded room at all times. No fewer than two armed guards are to be posted at any time. A trained psychologist is to remain on site at all times. Anyone who comes into contact with SCP-35... Harry, you're so annoying. Anyway, whatever I'm reading. God damn, it's so loud. Uh, wait, what did it say? Anyone who comes into contact with SCP-35 when it is in possession of a host is to be given an immediate psychological evaluation. Description. SCP-35 appears to be a, a white porcelain comedy mask, although at times it will change the tragedy. A highly corrosive and degenerative viscous liquid constantly seeps from the eye and mouth holes of SCP-35. Anything coming into contact with the substance slowly decays over a period of time until it has decayed completely into a pool of the original contaminant. Glass seems to react slower to the effects of the t item, hence the construction choice of its immediate container. Subjects within 1.5 to 2 meters, 5 to 6 feet of SCP-35 or in visual contact with it experience a strong urge to put it on. When SCP-35 is placed on the face of an individual, an alternate brainwave pattern from SCP-35 overlaps that of the original host, effectively snuffing it out and causing brain death to the user. Subject then claims to be the consciousness contained within SCP-35. Psychological analysis has discovered SCP-35 to possess a highly manipulative nature capable of forcing sudden and profound changes to interviewer psychological state. SCP-35 is to be proven highly sadistic, prompting some to commit... Okay, so he tries to manipulate to get what he wants. Okay, so now I'm curious. What if we do this? Sorry. <laughs> Just fucking die. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, why is this a system here? I guess it's to kill the host. He's dead. <clears throat> oh my god, what the fuck? So, I really don't want to get this place alive. Do you? You know there's no way a lone D-class like you surface safely. Even if you did, they'd gun you down the moment you came across their walls. Oh. Wait, what? How did you talk so calmly with the I'll gas? Give you one more chance here. Just open the chamber doors and we'll forget about this little gas incident. Where is he? What are you talking about, sir? You don't exist anymore. You're gone. <laughs> what? Who is speaking? What if I just turn it back on? Excuse me? He's gaslighting me? Okay, now, so this is really interesting. Now we open the door, right? I commemorate you for your help, but I have no further business with you. I have no intentions of taking a person who earned their imprisonment with me. But for the sake of my freedom, the simplest way for you to get out safely is to go and find SCP-012 in the light containment zone. If you can read between the lines, it'll be as interpretable as a map. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so if you don't know what's going on, so he just fucking lied to me straight to my face. He said, "Go find SCP-112." Remember what SCP-12 is? It is the music notes that cannot be finished, and everyone who gets close to it will be compelled to walk towards it and rate themselves uh, to try and finish it. 
but it can be finished. Read between the lines of the music note. Like he's he's trying to kill us because we did this. However, if you don't gas him, he says something entirely different. So let's find that out, huh? Let's be let's play nice with him this time and see what happens then. <laughs> It's really cool how this guy works. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> Someone actually found me. I'm gonna open this, by the way. Thought I was done for a moment there. Because we want this. P500, amazing. Hi there. Get us both safely to the surface. Just find the control panel in there and open the chamber doors for me. What if I just immediately open it? Is he even gonna, like, help me at all? Unfortunately, I never had any intentions of taking you with me. So this is where we part ways. What? But for the sake of my freedom, I have reason to believe that SCP-079 has taken control of the facility's systems, including the door system. Your best bet is to appeal to it somehow. Hopefully you can come to a compromise. However, it does not control the warheads, which you should disable remotely in the event that something goes wrong. So, so yeah, there you go. So he tells you something completely different and he actually helps you out if you don't like uh try and kill him with the gas so there he told me to go to scp-79 which i think you have to let scp-35 out in order for the doors to for s uh to scp-79 to open i think you have to let him out i think this is like part of the canon lore i'm pretty sure um but anyway cool stuff you don't have to let him out do we just like reload and leave him in there <laughs> i'm pretty sure should we reload and leave them in there or what? It's optional. You get the information. I'm gonna... I think we're gonna just let him out. <laughs> you only need to cut the power. Oh, you only need to cut the power. Do we reload and leave him in there? Personality test. Hey, we can do that. But you don't even get an achievement for this, right? Fuck you, idiot. Go eat shit. <laughs> I, I want to get 500, though. Go eat shit. I don't need your help anymore. I already got your help. <laughs> which this is canon, by the way. Reloading is canon, which you will find out later. Because there is the, the game actually acknowledges the reloading. And I think it acknowledges it even if you never reloaded in the first place. But uh, it'll be explained later. Oh, there you go. Curtain's down. Blah, blah. I'm out. <laughs> Try entering his room. I don't think I can. Can I? Appears to be locked. I don't think I can. I can get us both safely to the surface. Just find the control panel in there and open the chamber door. Oh, bye bye. It does recognize it. If you play the whole game without ever reloading, you get a different ending or what? Um, there's a plate in his room. It's an achievement. Oh fuck. Never mind. I have to open his door then. All right, we have to get the achievement. Here we go. Unfortunately, I never had any intent. So this is where we part ways. Two peace? But for the sake of my freedom, I have reason to believe that SCP. What if you turn on the gas now? You can't. Facility <laughs> systems, including the door system. The best yeah. bet is to appeal to it somehow. Is he gonna to a have a cuddle with SCP-49? Does not control the warheads, which you should disable remotely in the event that something goes wrong. Teddy Bear, thank you for the 16. All right, now he walks out. Because there is some stuff in his room, right? What? Let's see. Let's find out what's in his room. Oh, fuck. Can we get in here? We can. Wait a minute. I'm just going to save and like... I'm fine with SCP-35 escaping. It's, it's, it's fine. Ooh. What the fuck? Tentacles? Oh, there's tentacles everywhere! Oh, God, what is this? Ah! Ah! What the fuck? Can I get this thing? Help, help. I picked up a dirty metal! What the fuck did I just get? Metal panel? What the fuck? I'm getting tentacled, dude. What is this thing? Do I need this? I don't need the hand anymore, right? Now that I have... Um, 
Now that I have the, uh, the SCP-005, I don't think I need the hand ever. Just grab it. Hi. <laughs> you can put it? Oh, you can put it. The dirty metal. Oh, you can put the metal panel in SCP-914 and upgrade items. Interesting. All right, anyway, we're continuing. Uh, let's find another area. We need to go through here again, right? See him? Oh my god! <laughs> Why is all this closed? Oh, there we go. Dude, this key is insane. It's so useful. This door also doesn't open, right? Oh, it does. Anyway, what the fuck is going on? I don't know, man. Where did I come from? Right oh, SCP-173 is... Uh... <laughs> He's back, dude. What the fuck? Where'd you come from? Oh, come on. I have to get this thing again? No, I already got the metal. All right, anyway. <laughs> Rip me. Yeah, so let's see. We can get in here, right? The Omega LOL Warheads or Omega Warheads. Because he said we should disable these, right? So how about we go in here and we disable them? Omega Warhead Silo. It is... What's your name? Delgado Enrique. I... I think this is actually like a really, really, really important area. <clears throat> this will change which ending you get, I think. A key card. I got it. So this is a fucking nuclear warhead right here. We have a note. Oh, we got a body armor that I do not need because I got a protective SCP. Let's drop this on the floor. I don't think the ring is going to be too useful anymore, but I want to keep it. Modular side project, a proposition for nuclear device placement by Dr. Harp. The Alpha Warheads, page 10. Four, four one kiloton hydrogen bombs designed to demolish the area above the facility without causing major damage to the underground parts. The facility. So we have four warheads, then we have the facility. The blast shield, page 15. Designed to protect the facility in the event of an Alpha Warhead detonation. The Alpha Warhead, page 4. A 5 megaton hydrogen bomb designed to demolish everything in a 5 mile radius, including the facility this time. Okay. Detonation requires O5 level authorization. So this is to destroy literally everything. Uh, remote detonation, Alpha Warheads. So we have... But they're both on... What if we turn them both off? Boom. <laughs> and then we take... Can I get this back? Uh, I don't think it's going to immediately do anything. He's, no, I don't want the fucking body armor. QR code doesn't seem to work. Put it, yeah, I don't want this. I think they still count as nuclear... I, don't, I mean... When I hear terms, when I hear terms like destroying everything in a five mile radius, I think about a nuclear weapon, but uh, I, 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 did they not say it? I swear they just said like, wait a minute. Did they not say nuclear warhead? I swear they said that. Not that it really matters, but I can't pick it up. Yeah, it literally says a proposition for nuclear device placement. What are you talking about? <laughs> It is. Not that it matters, but yes. Okay. Um, we have turned them off so they cannot be remotely. Ah, fuck you. Wait, what's gonna happen if I? Oh no. Wait, is this gonna be bad? Will I be like clipping through the elevator? No. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. So the 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 warhead is a safety. I mean, it's not really a safety measure. You just kind of destroy everything. 
Oh my god, dude, you're so... I'm leaving the door open to the nuclear warheads. <laughs> Doesn't seem very smart. Whatever, it's gonna be fine, right? No one's here anyway. Leave me. Oh boy. Okay. What's this? Can we open these doors? I don't think we've been in these areas. Do we have new things to check? What is here? Oh, it's an electrical thing. Oh. Goodbye, dude. <laughs> it's the first time we've seen a person. Oh. No, I haven't saved in a while. I'm dead. <laughs> I thought I was baiting it. <laughs> Fuck. Subject D9341 was killed by Tesla Gate. God damn it. Oh, this is in the entrance zone. Oh, wait a minute. Can we go into the entrance zone? We can go into the entrance zone. We're not going to go there right now, but the, I don't know if the, you're supposed to be able to get there. But, oh, SCP-457. I don't think we've been here yet, have we? If you continue to press this button, I will generate a memory access violation. What did it just say? <laughs> oh, what is this? The Burning Man! I'll remember this. Dude, look at this place. I don't think... Can I go in here? You hold the key close to the keypad, but nothing happens? There's no code for that? Um... It's water? area maintenance tunnel oh cool wait can we access door appears to be locked never mind then this is large what's hiding down here scp 457 object class euclid sentient and violent oh hi there um it's a man on fire. He's on fire. He looks like Larry. Oh God, what the fuck? I don't want to talk to you. This man is on fire. I can't go anywhere. What the hell, I just got spun in a circle. Can I go through here? I cannot. I don't want to get cornered by this guy. Can I access these? The door appears to be locked. Can I open it with this key? Cannot can't open it with that key. I can also barely see. Might as well put this on. Wait, is there nothing else here? I guess this is just... Maybe it's a shortcut? Because there's another elevator going up here. Wait a minute. Where does this lead? You pushed a button, but nothing happened. Okay, I... Is there a... I guess if we loop him, maybe? Can we get past him? Is there something behind him? Hello, sir. You get out of this area. Save. I'll save. Okay, he's walking. Oh, he broke through his cell door. Wait, we can't contain him, right? Oh, hi there. Wait, let me check over here before we go in there. What's out here? This area, why is this area so big? I guess this guy is really dangerous. Oh, uh huh. We found a place. Battery. Does this sort of thing need battery? I mean, we might as well, right? We might as well reload it. This is the only thing that requires battery. Okay. We, we, we can bring this metal plate to SCP 914, right? To do something special with it or something? SCP-457. Oh god, I can't read it. The gamma's too high. Uh, SCP-457. Yes, you can. Reload the metal plate's battery. I don't think that works. 
SCP-457 is to be kept in a 5x5 chamber with no less than 22 centimeters of cumulative fireproofing via various materials, asbestos, cement, perlite boards upon all surfaces and blast proof observation window with emergency blast shielding installed. The opening to the chamber must consist of at least two temperature controlled and airtight chambers that may be sealed in case of an emergency. SCP-457's chamber should be kept at high humidity with a drainage system installed on the floor as well as a misting sprinkler installed and running constantly and, and emergency hoses capable of at least 2.1 MPA 30 PSI of water pressure. SCP-457 is allowed a small structure upon the wall of its chamber that remains water free but only allows for minimal protection and preservation of form. All personnel entering SCP-457's chamber should be wearing at least Class A temperature-controlled flame retardant sealed suits and entered, enter in groups of three with two members equipped with high-grade blast shields and emergency fire extinguishers. Personnel should only enter SCP-457's chamber in order to supply SCP-457 with its daily allotment of fuel material or to examine any and repair any damage to the chamber or sprinkler systems. Should SCP-457 engage personnel in a hostile manner, it is to be controlled via emergency extinguishers and hoses until it retreats back to its safe chamber. In the event that SCP-457 breaks containment, emergency sprinkler systems will tr be triggered and personnel will be supplied with extinguishers and blast shielding. Okay, so he's just, he's literally just a guy on fire. He's just a guy. But he's on fire. All right, then. He probably didn't ask for this life. He's probably having a terrible time of it, too. Oh, our feet. I can't turn that on. There's just a keyboard on the ground. Anywho, can we contain this guy? I'm pretty sure you can. What the fuck? Where is this lady? gotta be a new area right oh no this is it yeah here we go so i should be protected against like one shots here because i have the bracelet on right how's the bracelet gonna protect me from burning though that's my question observation room uh -huh. here we go here we go wait a minute Warning, containment breach, full site lockdown initiated. There's a note. And I wish I had more inventory. Also, the thing is broken. That's problematic. We don't have water sprinklers. Uh, oh God. I think he's coming. Close the door. Yes, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. all points and purposes, SCP-457 appears to be a sentient being composed of flame. SCP-457's actual composition is unknown and has proven to be a sentient, to be a sentient being composed of flame. Didn't you already say that? <laughs> what the fuck? SCP- Wait, what? Am I losing my mind? <laughs> Wait, is it just repeating? SCP's actual composition is unknown and has been proven to be a sentient being composed of flame. SCP's 457's composition is unknown and is proven to be invisible and undetectable by any known means, but is shaped out by the flames it produces, often assuming a human-like form if given sufficient fuel to assume that size. SCP 457's most rudimentary form appears to be that of a single flame, comparable in size to that of a matchstick. In this form, SCP-457 possesses only the simplest of directives and shows no sign of being unusual compared to any other flame beyond a penchant for suddenly flickering to burn human hands, and the ability to jump to more flammable materials or other flames, which it then assimilates to its, into its total form. As SCP-457 grows larger, it is able to assume more complex shapes and its intelligence grows with size and fuel sources. The SCP's method of intelligence is unknown, but upon reaching an approximately human size, it, is almost assu it, it almost always assumes a human-like form surrounded by and composed of flames. 
The SCP has been observed to communicate through writing letters out of its own flames, scarring them onto the wall or other surfaces, and more rarely through speech by a high-pressure superheated air and the crackling and pops of flames. Once the SCP reaches an unknown threshold of size and fuel source, the SCP splits into two beings, and so on, so and so forth. However, multiple beings of SCP-457 are aggressive towards each other and will either attempt to consume or extinguish their doubles, especially if there is only a, a, a limited amount of fuel at hand. Interesting, they attack each other. Okay, then. Um, so, can because we can close these doors, right? Yes. Can we get him in there and then close the doors on him? That's the question. I want to see. Can we contain... This is going to be our first SCP containment. We can get him in here, loop him, and then close the door, right? We just got to get him over here. Sir? I want you to follow me. Where's he at? I don't hear the crackling of the flames. And this guy walked far. Yeah, there's a lever... Here. Come on, follow me, friend. Oh, he's fast. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. I need to preserve... You know what? I'm going to put on the gas mask, even though... Ah! Okay. This is going to make me faster. Come in here. Yes, he's following. Idiot. Idiot. You're being baited. You're being jabated. And then we loop him. Loop up and then run. Run! Close the door. Let's go! Get fucked! <laughs> nice. Got him. He has been contained. I don't even get an achievement for that. Nice. I can't turn on the water sprinklers though. That would have been real cool, but the handle is on the floor. Nice. There you go. <laughs> He's done it. Alright, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Not that I really need to be around here at all. That's cool though. Uh, how the fuck do I get out of here? Anyway, here it is. Can we... Can we get out? Yeah, let's save the game. Good stuff. Okay, moving on to the next one. I love how... It's definitely... I mean, Euclid doesn't necessarily mean that they're, like, always more dangerous. But heavy containment definitely means they're more dangerous. Which we can obviously see here that all these SCP have been far more dangerous than any SCPs we found before. Also, is this a shortcut? Because this is another bio or DNA door. 457, that's... Uh, oh, okay. Wait a minute. I see. Getting to... Going to this SCP's room allows you to, like, get to the shortcut. Oh, God. But I can also just open the door using my mega key. Am I going back? Where am I going? And everything looks the exact same. Oh, main maintenance room. Wait, what's this? Or is this just a... Uh... Wait, what is this? New area? There's a note. I'm gonna leave the radio transceiver on the floor. I don't think we're ever gonna use that again. So let's just... Let's just don't bother with it. I can't open this door! Oh, we're in the entrance area. Okay, this is fine. Let's just stand here for a second and read this note. What did we find? Aversion to fight. My... F Wait. Aversion to fight? My foot. He doesn't mind... Or aversion to light. My foot. He doesn't mind light. He's never had any issue with light. Never, ever, never. He just doesn't like to take all at once. No, not all. Not all. It... It... There were tests done during a breach. Some... Thir some girly item that could see things. She wanted it, watched it, saw it, was seen, saw. He likes to burst, or maybe he just likes. He doesn't retreat from the light. He just stops being it for a while. He slides back and hides and counts to ten again. Begin. Oh, he likes to hunt. Begin again, and all off he goes. Only nobody. Gunshots. Only nobody is even ever it again. He takes his toys and the players and he goes home. Dr. L. Okay. I don't know what any of these notes are really about, but sure. Okay. 
So we're gonna go to the entrance area in a bit here. I just want to check out all the um, all the SCPs in heavy containment first. What is this? Oh, new SCP. 106. Here we go. Wait a minute. 106. Can we contain him in here? We can finally get rid of Larry, the piece of shit. <laughs> Because I think Larry is the one that caused the... In Here we go. Object class Keter. Sentient and violent. He's the one that caused the entire containment breach in the first place, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh, we're going to activate the femur breaker. This is going to be fun, huh? Observation room. Because they said the SCP-106 incident. That's what they called it. Oh no, seven, yeah, seven, nine also caused, or was at least partially responsible for the containment. Uh, let's save the game down here and start reading some of this, because this guy has been real annoying. Uh, wait, let's read the actual SCP file first. Oh, wait, I would like to, I would like to hear again state that 106 is not, as is commonly believed, a basic predator on par with an advanced shark. SCP-106 is a sentient being, or being a totally alien one. SCP-106 appears to be aware of several things beyond the scope of pure instinct and genetic memory. SCP-106 con consistently breaches at moments where recovery and containment are most difficult. A fox may see his way out of a trap, but only a man will wait for his captors to look away to escape. Hmm. Wait a minute, is that a keycard level 5? What the fuck?! Let's go! <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, we don't need it anymore because we got this guy, but cool. Nice. <laughs> anyway, um, let's read this shit. In the event of a breach, in the event of a breach event by SCP-106, a human with the, within the 10 to 25 age bracket, 10 to 25? You're gonna put a, a 10 year old on the femur breaker, you fucking monster? I mean, <laughs> Anyway, uh, bracket will be prepped for recall with the compromised containment cell being replaced and restored for use. When the cell is ready for the, the lure subject will be strapped on the platform inside the cell, after which the cell is locked and sealed. In order to let SCP-106 inside the cell, the ELO IID electromag electromagnets must be powered down before initiating the recall protocol. As of blank, an automated hydraulic press, the femur breaker, is used to injure the lure subject. Injure the lure subject. The sound emitted by said subject will be transmitted over the site public address systems. Once SCP-106 has entered the cell, it must be lifted back up using the ELO IID electromagnets. Uh oh. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna do that. Where do we do this? I should save the game because I'm pretty sure you can mess this up if you're an idiot. Like me. We go deeper. We got to go deeper. Oh, this is it. So it's so because this guy can obviously go through walls and stuff, they have to literally suspend him in midair so he can't go from wall to wall. And he's just stuck. Yeah, it's it's lifted with the electromagnets. Man, that must be some very strong magnets. We need to lower the thing. We need to lower the thing. But where where are the buttons? I didn't see any buttons. Are there buttons here? Oh, there. I, I didn't see this whole control panel. I'm an idiot. Oh, God. There's already someone on the fe femur breaker. That oh, it's SCP-79. It's SCP <laughs> what did he say? Did he say something? Okay. Uh, let's do... Let's turn on the sound transmission. Is anyone out there? <laughs> Hello. I'm out there. Is Fair. anyone out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Shush, 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 shush. Okay, let's lower the machine. Do we lower the thing down? Please let me go. And now it's on the ground. Let me go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just repeating yourself. I'm gonna save now. And now we're gonna do some real horrible thing. I'm sorry. Get ready to hear terrible sounds. Sorry, 
Brandon. Is he gonna come in there? 106 is still not there, right? Wait. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Do I lift it up now? I think I lift it up now. Ah! What the fuck? Okay, never mind. I don't lift it up now. <laughs> Where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> Brother in Christ, what the fuck? Let's actually explore his dimension a little bit because this is going to be the last time we can actually do this, right? Because uh, uh, he's going to be contained once we do this correct. Oh boy. Wait, I was too late. Oh, okay. As soon as the screen turns dark, you gotta pull up the lever. Is that what I had to do? Oh, I have to do it before the screen statics? Really? You get an achievement for getting out of Larry's dimension. Also, I'm bleeding. How did the, the thing not protect me? As soon as he gets... How do I know when he gets in the box? Like, how do I know that? Oh, God. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna keep walking. Not trying timing anything. This is not even... I'm not gonna be able to time any of this. Ah! Somehow I'm doing this perfectly. Literally have no idea what I'm doing. Whee! Oh my god, I made it! Yeah, No Man's Land, you get an achievement for that. Okay. Alright, well, then we're gonna have to roll with the punches. We are... You can feel something around you, no! Oh god. Fuck, 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 fuck. Hi there. You fuck right off, sir. You're hurt, though? I have SCP-500. I'm fine. Oh my god, they're all here. Okay, I'm right here. You're hurt as fuck? I think we're fine. Oh no, but we fucked up the femur, so we can't. No, no, no. You can do another femur, right? You have to do it. Okay, so we have to reload. Because the femur breaker only works once, and then you can't contain him. Alright, well, anyway. I don't see anything. Okay, there he goes. Is he gonna... Do I pull... It? Oh, there, I can see him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now I do it. Right? I think I got him. I think I got him. Did I get him? I think I got him. I think he's in there. Can I see it? I can't see him on the camera. Let's turn off the sound transmission. Yeah, I think he's in there. Nice! Okay, so now Larry will never be a problem again, this piece of shit. Because <laughs> he is lifted up there. How do you like that, idiot? Nice. Okay. So that is our second containment. We contained the Burning Man. We contained 106. I want to contain 173 as well, because I know that's possible. Uh, yeah, you don't get an achievement for uh, containing 106. That's kind of stupid, but I mean, I guess. Yeah, we won't, we won't have the Escape Larry's Dimension achievement, but we've seen it, though. Like, we, we have done it. Anyway, I'm gonna escape this now. Please tell me there's not gonna be SCP-49 right around this corner. And this is also what you're supposed to do to get the... We can also let him... We can always let him out. We can just lower the thing <laughs> to let him out, right? At any point, we can just get him back. <laughs> That's cool, though. Oh, yeah, there's an ending where Larry is free. So we're gonna have to let him free again that's if we want to get the other ending yeah for, uh because there is an ending i think where, where larry is free oh hi there oh my god everyone's so annoying we just need to find the next scp you fucking idiot so let's not mess this up this time let's save the game and try and not mess this up Go. Oh! I did it. Nice. Okay. You just gotta bait it and then go through. 
Good stuff. So now we're in an area we haven't been before. Save the game. What's here? Oh, this guy, the jump scare. <laughs> the SCP-650. This guy is so funny. <laughs> There's a battery. Hi. The startling statue. What is this? Remember, don't say nothing, idiot, in the conference, and don't forget to fix the projector of the auditory of the administrators. Oh my god, you fucko. I'm gonna read this in the Shadow Realms. Uh, don't forget to fix the projector of the auditory of the administrators at 7. That's in the, the same way, the passcode is 2411. 2411, remember? This is important. Please separate a slice of pizza. I'm hungry. Don't tell anyone. Okay, so if we want to get into the administrator's room, we have a password 2411. We also have the key, of course. We have the... I guess we don't need any more passcodes because we got uh, we got 005, but anyway, whatever. What if I leave this in the Shadow Realm? <laughs> Can I just leave? Can I use the Shadow Realm as like a mobile storage <laughs> of like items I want to keep? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm curious. Wait, you can? <laughs> okay, I can't read this in here. Are you crazy? Is my audio loud or am I just... I think it's too loud. Um, get out of here. I don't want to be in here. Oh my god, everything is so... F can I just read it, please? SCP-650 is to be stored in a lockable room at least 4 by 4 meters with comfortable lighting. It must remain under constant surveillance by no less than three personnel. Observers are to position themselves so that the SCP and at least one additional observer are in their line of sight at all times. Observation via remote methods such as security cameras is permissible. So long as concentration is not broken at any time. I think he's right outside my door. This method should... Oh my god. This method should only be used in case of emergency, however, due to the possibility of accidental loss of sight. Description. SCP-650 is a black statue of a stylized humanoid 167 meters centimeters tall. The statue does not possess hands or facial features. The limbs taper off into rounded points and the head is a smooth surface all around. The default posture while under observation has the statue reaching upwards, head tilted as if facing the sky. He is praising the sun. The composition of the statue is currently undetermined. Materials testing has materials testing has yielded inconclusive and contradictory results. If the statue is not being observed, it will relocate itself to a point immediately behind whomever is in the containment site and assume a threatening posture. No noise is made during the relocation process, so the precise method of locomotion is as of yet unknown. The relocation point and posture are typically close enough to induce an automatic fight or flight response in the observer once they turn around and see it. However, it should be noted that the SCP has not yet shown any signs of active aggression or hostility, based on trial responses that varied the amount of time between breaking and re-establishing line of sight. Its purpose does not seem to be attack, but merely to startle. The reason for this is unknown, and known for further research is pending to determine its motives. <laughs> That's so funny. It's literally just a jump scare statue. You ready to be jump scared, guys? Uh, let's save the game. It's jump scare time. Hi. He's, th he's... What the fuck? Hello. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. Is he free now? Where is he gonna... Is he gonna show up at one point? Go to light containment. Is he gonna be behind me? Wait, did I ever interact with this SCP, by the way? Wait a minute, I think I missed this SCP. What is this guy? Is he broken? He appears randomly behind me? What is this right here? 
uh scp1162 is currently i i think i missed this one while exploring the light containment so dude SCP, can we somehow can you contain 49 or is this guy just gonna be annoying for the rest of your life you need to go fully into his room okay i see anyway we need to read this scp1162 is currently contained in a standard five by five by five meter chamber SCP-1162 must be activated at least once weekly to prevent a containment breach. If it is not activated, it randomly shifts location as detailed below. SCP-1162 is currently a hole in the cinder block of wall of containment chamber 4. It measures approximately 14.5 centimeters across and has a variable depth which changes based on its current user. A portion of the cinder block is currently visible through the hole, however, no light source has been able to illuminate any portion of the interior beyond that. The hole is, always appears to be dark. And I'm not saving because I because I let out the the jump scare SCP. Um SCP-1162 is activated when a sentient being reach reaches into the hole to the depth that the girth of their arm allows. At which point their fingers touch a solid surface immediately in feel to the current location of SCP-1162. And they discover an item small enough to fit through the hole below their fingertips. These items have universally been recognized as something that the user has lost or was searching for at some point during their life. However, upon retrieval of the item, another item will vanish from the person of the subject in addition, any object placed into SCP-1162 will disappear as soon as it is no longer in contact with a person. If SCP-1162 is not activated at least once every 168 hours, it will randomly shift location to another stone concrete or brick wall or floor within a radius not yet shown to exceed 2,000 kilometers. The previous hole remains, but shows no abnormal properties. Okay, this must be really hard to find. There's just a hole. And there's just people sitting here working while there's like a hole here. All right, how about we touch it and see what we lose? What are we going to find in here? Let's drop something on the floor. It's probably going to steal an SCP item. Oh, a piece of the past. I got the, the card back. What did I lose? I lost SCP-500, you bees. <laughs> hey, give that back. <laughs> Wait, can you just rotate? What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm lo I'm losing my wallet. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Wait, excuse me? I wait what lore? I you I'm Jamin Oliver. I used to work for the SCP can, facility. What the fuck? <laughs> wait a minute, that's so cool. <laughs> My old badge. What did I do wrong then? Wait, that's actually so cool. I had no idea. Or I'm Benjamin Oliver. Sorry. Uh, damn, that's cool. Look at that, the lore. I mean, obviously we're gonna reload because this is all just fucked. What the hell is that? Electronical components. It just rotates between stuff. What if we drop our entire inventory? Now nah, don't reload. Of course I gotta reload. I have no key cards. Of course I gotta reload. What are you talking about? <laughs> I lost all my key cards, my brother. <laughs> Do not touch it with an empty inventory. I want to find out. Uh, anyway, I want to see the jump scare. Did I fuck it up? Did I not do the jump scare right? Do I have to walk in here? I sense the disease. What does he do? Hey. Oh my god, you fucko. Go. You fuck are. yourself. Does he not jump scare you? Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Get troll, dude. Get fucked by SCP-650. All right, you get it. He's just gonna spawn randomly behind you in a pose like this every now and then. Anyway, I'm gonna reload. I want to see what happens if you touch him with an empty inventory. I need to know this. Uh, wait, is this light containment? 
Oh my god, you piece of shit. He's so annoying. I need to see. Oh, here, there, yeah, go in here. Oh, come on. Because if we use, some, if we lose something, it's not that, it, like, I could lose one of the key cards, right? Did you just scan the QR code? It said Spiral Gestalt. It will give you an Omni. We'll find out what it does. All right, let's close the store and then save the game here. Uh, I'm curious, what kind of key card do you need for this? Just a level one? You need a level two or higher. Okay, uh, so let's drop stuff on the floor. Let's save the game here, drop everything on the floor and then see what happens. Will it like take my soul? Here we go. <laughs> it took one of my organs. <laughs> it took my fucking heart, dude. <laughs> All right, do not, <laughs> do not touch it with nothing in your inventory. But what if we only have like something that we don't care about in our inventory? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense that it takes something from my person and then it takes my heart or like some other organ. Uh, Reroll. <laughs> until it takes my one of my livers no i'm not gonna do that uh let's take out one of the key cards like the a level one key card doesn't really matter right we leave the wallet on the floor and then we have the the key card and boom i got a level three key card what is this movie ticket more lore! Hey, I remember this movie! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, wait a minute. We're gonna try and collect all the lore here. Let's, uh... Let's collect all the lore. So we're gonna now exchange another... Uh, we're gonna put this in here. And then exchange another level 1 key card. Or the master card, because I don't need that shit. Um, or another lore item. Oh god, what the fuck? Okay, electrical components. What is that all about? Don't need that. Come on, give me the key card. Is this ever gonna. Or is it doesn't only give you one lore item per playthrough? Wait, it only gives you. Like one lore item and then it never gives Ah oh, fuck. I didn't pick it up. <laughs> I didn't pick it up in time. <laughs> I'm stupid. God damn it. Damn it! Alright, take this key card out. This is gonna this is gonna work, I'm promising you. This is just I'm just stupid. Leave the wallet over here. Drop everything on the floor. Oh, I don't wanna Yes. Boom. I should have two things on me, huh? Just in case. I should just have two key cards on me. Just in case. So that if I fuck it up, I'm not gonna die. Here we go. Alright, save the game. Boom. Oh, what is this? SCP? What? How strange this document is different from the others, I think. Object, wait a minute. 970. Is this a rare SCP document? Uh, special containment procedures. All sites affected by SCP-970 are to be acquired by the Foundation with a suitable cover established. Civilians attempter, attempting to enter the sites are to be discouraged, preferably within the boundaries of the local law. Trespassers are to be administered a Class A amnestic. Description. SCP-970 is a spatial phenomenon wherein a collection of rooms are looped on themselves okay it wait so the this is it's the looping hallway in all cases found this is by a means of a series of doors appearing in the walls all in a straight line such that it is possible to walk forwards and end up starting in the starting position the alteration to the rooms does not affect neighboring rooms and floors there is as of yet no known explanation for the appearance of this phenomenon SCP-971 is a cell block within Site-19 and the first example of SCP-970 phenomenon encountered by the Foundation. 
An in the investigation into the incident led to the discovery that a series of doors had appeared in the cell block leading into rooms on the opposite side of the corridor. It was quickly established that the layout of the building did not support this addition and that the rooms were following non-standard geometry. Andre, why is this document modified? Nikita. Addendum 975. Experimentation log for 970. Dr. Redacted was given a head-mounted camera and instructed to walk through the doors of SCP-975. He expressed doubts as to the possibility of the phenomenon, but followed orders. He successfully navigated the rooms, expressing alarm and surprise to discover himself at his starting point. Video footage and internal measuring devices show that the subject did not deviate noticeably from a straight line, but nevertheless emerged on the other side of the corridor. The anomaly is confirmed. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that for now because that's cool. And then we're just gonna take out. We don't need all these level three key. We don't need a mastercard. And then we put. Oh, I guess we can't keep this. We can't keep it. I forgot. That's not how this works. Because uh, we can't put SCP documents in our wallet. That's fine. Um, okay. There are five lore items, dude. This is so cool. Wait, what's this? Lost key. <laughs> Excuse me? Isn't this the key to that old shack? The one where I know it can't be. What the hell, then? Oh, wait. Wait, I had my wallet on me. I could have lost my entire wallet there. I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> Whoopsie baby. That was not the smartest move. Ah, shit. Can I pick this up, please? Thank you. Wait, come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, there's a MasterCard underneath. How did that get there? I don't know. Does it just... Oh my god, leave me. Oh, there we go. Movie ticket. Hey, I remember this movie. This is so cool. I had no idea there was like lore about the character you... You play ass in this game. Uh, okay, we keep that. We exchange one of a uh, Are you okay? What are these sounds, brother? Oh, come on. Stop picking up shit that I'm not even aiming at, you dumbass. I'm losing my mind out here. Okay, save the game. It's lo looping me through the same items. Give me a new lore item. What's this? Disciplinary hearing? DH. Wait a minute. Why does this seem so familiar? Clearance level 5. Disciplinary hearing. DHS 4 1. Blah, blah, blah. Defendant, probably me, position senior researcher at site blank. Offense charged. Unauthorized research of a hypothetically over a hypothetical anomalous phenomenon hereby referred to as the spiral gestalt. Someone did the QR code and it let the spiral gestalt, right? Background minutes verdict. Wait, so I got the death penalty for that? Excuse me? Dude, this is really cool. All right, leave this here. And then grab another item. We're mining for lore right now. We'll exchange our level... We'll exchange Emily Ross's badge. We don't need that anymore. <clears throat> there we go. Save again. Oh, what? How? I had two things in my inventory, you fucko. Excuse me, how did I die? Wait, how did I die? Did I somehow exchange... Excuse me! How does it... <laughs> what are you doing? How is it killing me? <laughs> is it just... Is there a random chance for you to die? I have two items. Is it bugged? Is it because I'm doing it too fast? Oh! And there we go. Old badge. Oh, this guy looks just like me. Dude, this is awesome. Alright, put that in there. We're collecting everything. I guess we'll exchange a level 4 card now. We don't really care. 
We already got a level five card and the ultimate key. I'll do it at a slightly slower pace as to not die. Come on. There were five lore items, someone said, right? We have had... I think we have all five of them, don't we? Because we have the lost key, the two SCP documents, and then the two... The, the old badge and the old movie ticket. I think that's everything. Unless there is more. Damn, this was really cool. There's a coin. And we got the old key. What? Every time it spawns an SCP document, it kills me. Why? <laughs> Why? I have two items in my inventory. Okay. I think this is everything. So I don't know what's going on here. This seems to be slightly weird. Uh, let's, uh, let's continue now. This is super cool, though. The document is an SCP. Let's pick all our stuff up. And then we are going. Let's put on this thing again. Put on the bracelet. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was the last SCP then that we didn't find in this area yet. Uh, what the hell? 650 is nearby too, but he's not gonna follow us, right? I hope not, at least. It's an SCP. It's not supposed to make sense. Let's save the game. That was super cool. Let's quickly check around this corner if there was anything else. Oh, this was a really, like, boarded off or, like, a really hard-to-reach area in light containment. That's why I didn't have... Um, that's why I didn't find it. Nice. Cool. Oh my god. Go away. Oh boy. We're just gonna try and find the new... A new SCP now. Oh, we need to stay safe here though. Save. Oh, that's... Wait, is... is... Is SCP-49 gonna die here? Wait a minute. Hello? What the fuck? He doesn't give a shit! <laughs> That's some bullshit! What the hell? He doesn't care. Oh, th wait, this is also like containment? Excuse me? It all re leads back to like containment? Where does this connect to, though? This is... Oh, this is the area that we've been in before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, anyway, never mind. Let's let's keep checking high heavy containment. This leads to somewhere. Oh, here we go. Okay, nice. This is the area I wanted to get to. So then now we're in a new area that we haven't been to before. What do we got right here? We have a shortcut, I think. Oh yeah, you can you have to go all the way down and <laughs> but if you have the shortcut here you don't have to do that. But what's down here though? There's gotta be something down here, right? Save? Oh, is there something here that's gonna kill me? What do I gotta save? Oh What's down here? Oh the gas! But don't what if you put on the gas mask? Nice try, idiot. He's trying to kill me, but I have a gas mask on. Eat shit. If I close the door. Just decontaminating the room. Outsmarted. Baited and outsmarted. I remember the gas. Okay, what is this? Special containment procedure. SCP-682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. At this time, no means available to SCP teams are capable of destroying the SCP, only able to cause massive physical damage. SCP-682... Why am I walking down the stairs? I'm just standing still. Uh, should be contained with a 5x5x5 five by five by five meter chamber with 25 me centimeters reinforced acid resistant steel plate lining all inside surfaces. Any attempts of SCP 682 to move. Let me quickly move upstairs because this, this uh, gas sound is making me lose my mind. Um, wait. I came from here, right? So I need to go this way. Um. 
Pick it up. Alright, there we go. Now I can hear myself think. Um, save the game. What is this? Uh, any attempts of SCP-682 to move, speak, or breach containment should be reacted to quickly and with full force as called for by the circumstances. Uh, the SCP is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely intelligent and was observed to engage in complex communication with SCP-79 during their limited time of exposure. SCP-682 appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during containment. SCP-682 has always been observed to have extremely high strength speed and reflexes, though exact levels vary it with its form. SCP-682's physical body grows and changes very quickly, growing or decreasing in, at, in size at it, at it consumes or sheds, as it consumes or sheds material. SCP-682 gains energy from anything it ingests, or organic or inorganic. Digestion seems to be aided by a set of filtering gills inside of the SCP's nostrils, which are able to remove usable matter from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. SCP-682's regenerative abilities and resilience are staggering, and the SCP has been seen moving and speaking with its 87% with its body 87% destroyed or rotted. Okay, it's a Keter. Is this the giant reptile thingy? Is this the... The giant reptile? It is. Okay, I've heard of that SCP before. It's like extremely dangerous. Okay, it's the giant reptile. That's cool. Hey, what are you doing? Hi! <laughs> He's drawing. But can I take it? You don't care? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Thank you! What is this? Wait, it's SCP. Wait, it's uh, it's SCP-173 killing me. <laughs> That's not a very cute drawing. Well, anywho, where else can we go? I don't know what he's doing, but I'm going this way. Oh no! What? My eyes? Ah! Fuck! 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 Why? Why? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Can I go this way? Wait, it wasn't real? He didn't show up this time. What? Weird. Oh, God. Oh, no! Here we go! We finally got it to him. I was looking for this guy. Shy guy. Here we go. I didn't look at him, right? No. Saving. <laughs> he got fucking murdered, dude. You know we gotta look at him. You know we have to look at him. <laughs> You already know, dude. You you guys ready? It appears to be locked. Wait, how can I escape? Oh, there we go. All right, here you go. Save the game. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hi there, friend. <laughs> um, are you okay? I can talk. We can talk about it. Run. It doesn't matter. How no, it doesn't matter how far you run, how much you try and hide. He will always find you. <laughs> well, what if I use the mask though? Wait a minute. A large amount of blood found in data redacted. DNA identified as the subject. Most likely by S. Jesus Christ. Wait a minute. That's actually very interesting. What if I look at him? 
and then go to the Shadow Realm. Do I? I mean, I, I kind of have to stay here forever. Is he gonna kill me in here? No way. I don't believe it. How is he? Oh God! No! Help! Everyone's gonna kill me! Get out, get out, get out. Oh no, he's still there. <laughs> he will always be playing. <laughs> wow, he just, he just politely waits to kill you. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I'm screaming and dying. Okay, don't look at SCP-96. <laughs> Do not, under any circumstances, look at this guy. I'm gonna turn this stuff on. But I wanna go in there, though. I'm not looking. He's friendly, right? Use night vision goggles to scr scramble his face. I'm pretty sure that is just bullshit. Oh, come on. I can't open these doors. Wait, what? I'm stuck in here. What did I do? You need to scramble? There's scramble goggles? There's like an upgrade. Oh, there. There's a generator. There's an upgraded version of the goggles. What? I thought I upgrade. Oh no, I didn't have the goggles at the time. You can upgrade the goggles. Wait, that's so cool. Um, and I love how many interactions there are with all the SCPs. That's so awesome. Like, that's so interesting. This game is so well made. Like, this is why I'm telling you it's like, in my opinion, uh, one of the best horror games ever made. It's just like, it perfectly explains the universe. And here it is. SCP-96. Uh, he is usually contained in this thing, but not right now. <laughs> As you can see, he broke out of it. But why though? Why did he break out? Let's look at the observation room. Oh, there's a hand here. SCP-96 is to be contained in a cell 5x5x5 five by five by five meters, airtight steel cube at all times. Weekly checks for any cracks or holes are mandatory. There is to be absolutely no video surveillance or optical tools of any kind inside the cell. SCP-96 is a humanoid creature measuring approximately 2.38... Oh, no! No! Why are you here? How did you get here? <laughs> Fuck you. I'm just chilling, brother. Why, 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 why? That's why I should always close the door. Luckily, the thing prote- Oh my god, there's two of them, of course. Oh my god, you fuck off. Leave, leave, leave. Oh, I need the key card. All right, I'm gonna lock you in real quick. Can they walk through doors? Can I use a level four key card? Yes, okay, I can. Uh, anyway, I'm busy. I'm busy, buddy. Uh, is a human or creature. He is 2.38 meters in height, I'm assuming. Subject shows very little muscle mass with prime... Pri Let me also save in case I die to these slicey creatures. With preliminarily preliminary analysis of body ma mass suggesting mild malnutrition. It is not yet known whether SCP-96 is blind or not. It shows no sign of any higher brain function. Uh, and is not considered to be sapient. SCP-096 is normally extremely docile. However, when someone views its face, whether it be directly or via video recording, it will enter a stage of considerable, considerable emotional distress. 
SCP-096 will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, and babbling incoherently. Approximately one to two minutes after the first viewing, the SCP will begin running to the person who viewed its face, who will from this point on be, be referred to as SCP-96-1. At this point, no known material or method can impede SCP-096's progress. The actual position of SCP-0961 does not seem to affect his response. It seems to have an innate sense of SCP-961's location. Upon arriving at the at the uh, at 961's location, SCP-96 will proceed to kill and data expunge SCP-961. A hundred percent of cases have left no traces of SCP-961. SCP-96 will then sit down for several minutes before regaining its composure and become docile once again. <laughs> that is fucking terrifying. I love how even a creature like that is Euclid because as long as you don't look at him, he's just gonna chill in his room. It's only when you fuck it up that he will break out. Data report. What is this? Uh-oh. SCP-96 is causing a ton of pressure in this area of the cell. And then it just broke. <laughs> it's covered in blood too. Rip that guy. One or more of the motion sensors have malfunctioned. What happened? Did someone look at a picture? Did SCP-79 SCP probably showed a picture of uh, 96 to someone on his computer screen? to kill to let scp-96 out of containment that's my prediction i'm sure that happened <laughs> all right anyway save the game that, that feels right up his alley now obviously we can take this hand here but we already have the the uber key so we don't need it we don't need the any hand oh boy yo look at this picture <laughs> look at this photograph Every time I see it, I die a horrible death. Anyway, um, are we, are we done here? I was about to say that. Are there any more SCPs or is it time for us to go to the entrance area? We already checked this. All right, I think, oh God, don't look at him. I think it is time for us to go to the entrance. I'm just gonna sneak right by if you don't mind. Let's check out the entrance area. Cause I don't think we can go to SCP-79 because we first have to turn off the power or something. Um, oh yeah, we have to turn off the power. And then he will say like, hey, I don't like that you turn off the power cause now I can't control the facility anymore. Come over here. Then you talk to him and then he gives you some like ultimatum or something. Hi there, Eric, how are you doing? Oh, we got a coin. Good to see you, Eric, buddy. Oh my god! What the fuck, Eric? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Can we... Can you chill out? Mobile task force? Uh-oh. Wait, the mobile task force is here? Oh no, they're gonna shoot me. But I have- I have the bracelet SCP, right? You remove now put on the bracelet. Uh nine tilt fox is here. Oh boy. Uh let's see. Cup of coffee. Can I drink it? The drink tastes like fairly strong black coffee. Only personnel oh only personnel of security clearance level two or higher are allowed to use SCP nine or, or two nine four. Requesting anything other than human consumable beverages is strictly forbidden. You need to insert two quarters to use this material. Okay, so this is a coffee machine that can give you- Is there- Oh, here. The SCP note. No, I can't read it. Why is the SCP document? I want to read it. But it is a, uh... Come on, pick up the quarter. It is an SCP that will- That has a keyboard, and anything you type on it will be provided by the machine. Control to nine tail clocks. Oh. oh. Is the gate disabled? Oh, no. Nine Tilt Fox is coming in. They're gonna kill me for sure. Uh, is it, is it, can I get, so, so let's see. Oh. 
while they're walking around here. Uh, let's grab the cup again. And then we're gonna just do... Put some quarters in here. Let's save the game. Put some quarters in. One. Two. Oh, and then we get the type. We do a cup of Eric. A cup of Eric. Out of range? What do you mean out of range? Okay. How about a cup of water? Dispensing. <laughs> there we go. Can I carry it? God damn it. A cup of water. <laughs> well, that was refreshing. <laughs> okay, we gotta reload every time though, because we only have two quarters. Um, what else can we? What else can we do? A cup of Joe. Uh, how about? How about a cup of death? Uh oh. <laughs> what the f fuck? That did not sound very good. That did not sound very good. A cup of death. <laughs> Immediately dies. <laughs> of course. A class D. The is still alive inside the facility. The MTF unit edit 10 designated Sino Weevil has entered through gate B. The sweep operation is supposed to the unit Foxtrot Unit 1 to the containment of cognitive hazards and mimetic SCPs. Personnel is recommended to continue in emergency shelters and abide by the assigned protocols. When the Euclid and Keter class SCPs are recontained, the staff will go through a series of test determined conditions in order to be evacuated. Huh? Okay, they're, they're going to contain SCPs. A class D personnel, or a class D found dead in the, in the facility redacted, of sector redacted, presumably killed by something dispensed by SCP-294. Uh, let me drop this on the floor here because I don't want this cup. Let's see, um, what else could we do? A cup of life is like, uh, SCP-500, right? Could you do a cup of SCP-500? Out of range, a cup of quarters. Now we're cooking. Uh, oops, mistype. Quarters. Can I make infinite money? Out of range. Uh, can we do a cup of God? Oh, oh God. Well then, we got a cup of God. A cup of God. I drank God. What does that do to me? What does that do to me? You stand that is still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facility. Wait, it doesn't do anything? <laughs> Something is following me! Oh, come on. This guy is here, really? What are you doing here, sir? I'm busy. Do, do I get... Do I become invincible with that? What does it do? Does that make you God? Is there any funny one? Is there any... Like, I know probably we can do, like, lava or something and just die to lava. Can we do a cup of lava? Antimatter? Let's do antimatter. That sounds fun. Cup of stealth? <laughs> the liquid disintegrates, disintegrates your insides almost immediately. <laughs> Subject SCP was found death with the victim's organs and mouth cavity suffering numerous fourth degree burns and traces of molten igne igne igneous rock in the stomach. A polystyrene cup was also located next to the subject's body. Cause of death is most likely linked to data redacted. The staff will go through a series of test determined conditions. In order anyway, that's a spicy coffee. Cup of a cup of antimatter. Antimatter. Oh, is this gonna? What if I get a black hole out of this thing? Cup of cup of black hole. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Will the stamp that is still alive inside the 
<laughs> Recon team, send in a data redact that show that everything within a 210 mile radius from site data redacted was safe vaporized, safe for a five meter radius of unharmed area in the facility cafeteria of sector data redacted surrounding SCP-294. <laughs> Oh man, do a cup of... What? We could do acid? There's so many things. Oh man, this game is so good. What if I do like bomb? Out of range. Black hole. Black hole. Oh my god. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Uh oh. <laughs> I may have ended humanity. <laughs> it's just. After an investigation team was sent to inspect site blank or redacted. Can you shut the fuck up, sir? I'm trying to read. Everything within a 30 meter radius of a strange energy orb was missing. Assumed to be a singularity that eventually demagnetized and collapsed. Foundation personnel are still unsure as to the cause of the event. Wait, so a cup of antimatter is way. A cup of antimatter causes a way larger explosion than a cup of black hole? Are you kidding me? I feel like that doesn't make any sense. Can I get a cup of Joe? A cup of Joe? It's just a small black hole. I feel like antimatter black holes don't explode. No, they just suck in everything around them, right? I got a cup of Joe. The drink, the drink tastes like blood. Oh! <laughs> it tastes like Joe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. <laughs> Wait a minute. We just got a cup of someone named Joe. <laughs> Okay, what? What is there any other funny one? We already did God. A, cu a cup of sun? A cup of sun. Dude, there's so many options, man. How many fucking things did they program into this machine? That's so cool. Oh. It didn't even explode. A cup of sun. Oh, whoops. Do fair? Wait, what is my name? A cup of... What if I... Wait. What if I get a cup of my own name? What was my name? Benjamin Oliver. Wait, what if I say a cup of Benjamin Oliver? Benjamin... Or just Ben... Benjamin? <laughs> it actually hurts me. Wait, that's so cool. The liquid tastes like blood. It's still warm. That is insane detail, man. This genuinely is like... It's like a, a true sandbox horror game. Where you can like anything. If you think it's possible... You can't. You can. You can get it. That's so cool. A cup of 420. 420. Oh my god. <laughs> cup of nuke. A cup of piss. Oh, thank you. What is this? Man, that's some good ass shit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> you can feel something near you. Oh, come on. Fuck off. I'm busy. I'm busy 420. 420 blazing it. Okay, well... So... Are we... Uh, we could get another quarter maybe somewhere. I think that's what... <laughs> A cup of pills? A cup of freedom? A cup of moon? There's so many options of ghost would that actually do something boiler cup 
Cup let's see people keep saying cup of fear. What is a cup of fear? Personnel is recommended to continue in emergency shelters and abide by the assigned protocols. Jesus Christ, they have done too much. Spoiler cup for an ending? Oh wait. A cup of spoiler? In order to be Really? Cup of fear. Oh, what the fuck? I got a heart attack? Will this stamp that is still alive inside the facility? Okay. Rip me, I guess. Let's do a, a cup of. Uh, I don't. Is, are you guys just saying cup of spoiler because you don't want to say what it actually says? A cup of spoiler? What? It's an act. Oh, you can actually get the ending. Oh, we should. We don't want to read this. Wait. Wait a minute. Cup of spoiler? What's gonna happen? Sir, we found a dead class D on the walk. No, it's a spoiler! He's got multiple gunshot wounds in his chest. No, 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 no. Okay. Fuck you. It's just an actual spoiler. It just plays one of the endings. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, this is actually insane. How many things you can do, dude? This is ridiculous. What the fuck? What an insane game, dude. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, oh god, my game's crashing. Please wait till the program responds. Yeah, I saved. <laughs> okay. A cup of instant. That's not gonna work. I I'm actually so impressed that the. I mean, obviously, it makes sense that the cup of Benjamin would would work, but that's so cool. A cup of infinity. We already did a cup of black hole. What is infinity gonna give us? I love how we're just like spending an hour at this fucking machine out of range. People said a cup of invisibility. Invisibility. Ah, fuck. E. Out of range. All right, a cup of shit. Sure, here you go. A cup of shit. You get your way. A cup of shit. You already know it's gonna just taste like shit. Yeah, I'm not drinking that. <laughs> he doesn't. It's literally just shit. <laughs> it's just shit. <laughs> it's just poop in a cup. A cu oh, a cup of Estes flask? Can you get that? Wait a minute. No way. Can you get Estes? What? Are we gonna praise the sun? <laughs> Cup of amnesia. A cup of essence. Taste is hard to describe. You feel refreshed. That's cool. Okay, wait. What is a cup of amnesia? Amnesia. Oh. Cup of love. At some point, we gotta call it, by the way. <laughs> we can. It seems like they have almost infinite possibilities here. Daniel, is that you? What are you doing? Daniel? My brain broke? Cup of Larry? Okay, many people are saying this. I think we're gonna. Our final thing is gonna be a cup of life. Because that's like SCP 500, right? Uh, Larry? Out of range. Cup of glass? What the fuck? It's so stupid. We tried a cup of quarters and it didn't do anything. A cup of lore? Will a cup of lore actually work? <laughs> you fucking drank glass, you idiot. <laughs> Up of lore? No way, lore works. The stamp that is still alive inside the facility. The MTF unit edit ten. No, it's out of frame. All right, I I know we can keep going for a hundred million years because it's very fun. But let's do a cup of life and and call it there. Let's do cup of life. As far I think a cup of life is like SCP five hundred, right? It's like a. Like a heal, basically. And I think we're gonna just keep it and leave with this. Because if we keep, we can keep going. I know there's more things we could put in there, but 
This game is literally free on the internet if you want to try stuff for yourself. But we could be there for, for all day. Let's move on. Let's save the game. Oh. In progress save. Oh, come on! Oh, I'm glad I saved the game. <laughs> Fucking Nine Tails Fox is so damn annoying. Damn it. Okay, what do I do now? Can I escape them? Ah! Ow, ow, ow. I got protected. <gasps> they got SCP 173! What? Oh, they're coming here. Wait a minute. What are they doing? What? Would like to advise all surviving personnel once again. Do not attempt to reach the exits. Either find a safe area or go into one of the many evacuation shelters. He's not even looking at it. That's so cool. Wait, so I don't even have to contain it. They do it for me. I didn't realize that. Free peanut? No, no, no. I want to... Peanut being captured is way better for me. Oh my god, you fuck all. What are they doing? Maybe Peanut can help me. Peanut is a homie. He's literally gonna snap my neck in the blink of a second if I don't look at him for one millisecond. He's not a friend. What is he doing? Why is this guy just walking around with Peanut trying to shoot me? Fuck you, dude. What's he doing? You need to hide. I think I gotta reload before this guy was just like camping me here. And then we gotta run away. Cause this guy's too annoying. Just fucking shoot me already. All right, rip me. <laughs> You're so annoying. Tina <laughs> is clipping and doing all kinds of weird shit. Yeah, for sure. Okay, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Go, go, go. Oh no, but we go back here? Wait a minute. Oh, it's SCP. Ah! Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna die. What if I let them look at SCP? Oh my god, they're also here? Are you fucking joking? Everything is so annoying. Fucking garbage, man. <laughs> They're so damn annoying. Everyone's out to get me. Alright. Is this guy here somewhere? Oh, there they are. Ah! <laughs> They're both there. Oh, no. Okay. Let's have... What if I get Nine-Tailed Fox to look at SCP... Like shy guy. Are they gonna contain him? Yeah, I could get a scrambler. I know. Oh, what? He one shot me? Excuse me? What the hell? He headshot me. The piece of shit. Okay, this is almost impossible. What am I supposed to do? I guess I just run away and go through another entrance. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. I guess I just... Oh, he has scramble goggles. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Let's go through another entrance gate. We know we can find one. They're like all around here. Dude, there's so many SCPs nearby. Goodness gracious. Yeah, here. Another entrance. Save the game. <laughs> This is so cool, by the way. When I played this the first time, I could never get into any of these rooms because they were all like, um, you needed like passcodes for every single one of them. Well, now we got fucking SCP-005, so we can check all of them and read all the... Oh, we need a cup of life, though. Oh, no. 
What is this? Mysterious note. You made it so easy. Nice work, foundation. Excuse me. There's a bulletproof vest, or I think we should use that. Is this SCP gonna be any more? I think. Can we put this in here? I don't think the ring SCP is really gonna be important anymore. I think I'm gonna drop the ring SCP. Because everything else is like useful. I don't think this thing is gonna be too important. This is just like makes you stupid, right? Like what can I really do with a, an SCP that makes me stupid? It seems kind of useless. What is this? Can I read that? Uh, connected to unknown error. It's out proceeding. Did you try it against 49? No, I did not. Uh, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. What? How did I not see me? I was just about to save the game, by the way. I'm glad I didn't. What? Game of the year? Are they gonna camp here now? Oh my god, they're gonna camp this area. Are you kidding me? Oh, fucking annoying. I can't... Just fucking end my suffering. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are so annoying. <laughs> Alright. Goodness gracious, man. Anywho, we need to get this, uh... We need to just move fast here. We need to move fast and, like, be constant, because they're gonna be annoying at times. Alright, we got the achievement. Save the game. Oh, fuck. Oh, never mind. That was a terrible point to save. Uh, well, this is why we got the backup system. <laughs> I might have to run one of my backups here. Yep, I think I gotta run one of my backups. All right, give me a sec. I don't think I think we're soft. This is exactly what I mean, by the way. This is why I have like a remote backup system that's making a backup every five minutes because it is so incredibly easy to soft lock yourself. Oh, come on, get me in there. Wait, I guess I guess I lived. Last hope. Never mind, I lived. Save the game. Okay, I didn't. I don't have to load a backup. That's convenient. Uh, drop this. What is this? References document. I'm getting like I'm farming achievements out here. Doctor M Delgado Vargas. Doctor Maria Polanski. Reconstructive of maintenance tunnels. Reconstruction of maintenance tunnel. Security clearance level restricted. For some reason, the researcher Pari has not been able to send the necessary file so that engineer McLenzo or Malekzo can start with the reconstruction of the office area. Heavy machinery room, the maintenance area adjacent to the quarter of 409, and the new room of conference for the O5 Council. I think it must be disciplined or sanctioned by the facility's ethics commission. On the other hand, we must point out that the researchers, researcher Sidorov has been working on a report for 10 hours to be able to fix the connectivity of the scanners and buttons on the doors and gates. Likewise, the technician team Echo will be sent at 9 a.m. Hopefully they will be able to solve a little the lost time of reconstruction. Okay. And what's this other document here? SCP-85 note. What's happening? It's some kind of an alarm. I'm not sure. Okay, I guess I'll... You'll have to go now? It's probably just one of those emergency rehearsals. What is it? Are you there? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Containment breach. Gotta go. What? Is this like a tech... Uh, analog texting system? <laughs> is this an SCP? Is SCP-85 like an, uh, a text that two people can write on and they'll like transfer their messages? Interesting. All right, save the game. Oh, we got a ballistic helmet. Maybe we should have these. You know what, drop this, put on a ballistic helmet so we don't get one shot. So we drop SC the SCP pill or the thing here. That's fine. We don't need it anymore. Please remember to stay inside the evacuation shelters until the... Right, Have we already been in here? Well, this was the mysterious note one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, we got so much lore to check here. 
do we which codes did we have by the way can we get in here with with any of our codes or are we just oh world ending scenario do they have an achievement for every single one of these rooms this is insane Oof. let's see four two one one oh that does not work all right what, you cannot carry any more items fuck off no, I don't want this med kit. All oh, the Lord journal page. What the fuck? It was incredible watching her grow into a fine young woman. I wish Becky would have been there to see who she's become, but I know she would have been proud. Lily had gotten into a college overseas to study literature when the day came that I was going to lose my daughter. She simply walked up to me and said, I'm okay. Kim really blah, blah, blah. Report to the nearest global task force oh. unit for retrieval of several high importance objects. Can they please shut the fuck up? You didn't grab my. Okay, I can't really read this. Sir, I retrieved this page from Mr. Gonzalez's journal as you requested. It appears the memory implant was successful. We won't be getting any problem from him about his family anymore. A few months later, I got a job offer, one that was much different from anything else I had been approached about. It was for a janitor mechanic position. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my shit because these guys fucking keep yelling. A few months later, I got a job offer, one that was much different from anything else I had been approached about. It was for a janitor, me janitor mechanic position, but I had just been laid off of my at my previous work. So I was trying to find anything that would pay. We are giving you the chance to step foot in a world where reality as you know it is different. Where we can make a difference. The man told me as I sat down at our dining table with coffee in my hands. It comes with a sacrifice, however. He said, How are you still so long? Um, you'll see things that might change you and your perspective. It might change everything about you. He continued, we fight in the shadow so that the world can live in the light. Silence came over the house as he awaited my answer. All I could think about was whether I was ready to, to, ready to much such a change. Ready to much such a change? Excuse me, that's not how you say that. Um, what is this? Incident report as, wait, this is it. This is the, the thing that started the containment breach. What is it? SCP or incident report SCP 106 uh, 204 9 a.m. Agent Skinner and security agent Carey start their morning shift monitoring the containment room of SCP 106. Uh, 921 SCP 106 breaches containment. How? Security agent Skinner sets off a facility wide alarm and informs security chief Franklin. Agent Carey claims to have been getting coffee from cafeteria B at the time of the breach. Appropriate disciplinary measures have been taken. SCP-106 appears outside Office Block C. One office worker captured by SCP-106 and presumably taken to the pocket dimension. Security Chief Franklin arrives to the containment room of SCP-106 with five Control security agents. Has the gate deactivated? You may now pass. Okay. They have the gate deactivated. Including Agent Carey and a Class D subject, D-9215. Agent Skinner is nowhere to be found and assumed to be taken by SCP-106. 924. Subject D-9215 is placed inside the containment cell of SCP-106 and the recall protocol was initiated. SCP-106 is spotted in a hallway outside the containment room of SCP-079. SCP-106 emerges from the west hall wall of the containment room and enters the containment cell. The cell is lifted up by the ELO IID electromagnets. The alarm is set off and a cleaning team is dispatched to fix the damage caused by an SCP-106. Okay, so this is a previous incident. Possible notes. 1004, possibly related notes. 1004, researcher Ferguson noticed that the blast doors outside the containment room of... Uh, 79 cannot be opened manually or via the control panel. A team of three technicians is sent to check the door. N20. The technicians confirm that the problem is not caused by a fault in the door control system. They start disassembling the door to see if any of the mechanical parts are damaged. Since SCP-106 had been near the door during the breach, it is likely that the malfunction was caused by the corrosion effect SCP-106. Okay, interesting. So they're all working together? All the SCPs are working together to escape? 
So SCP, because it was he was in that room with SCP-79 for like 10 minutes. Because he went in there at 27 and then he got out at 36. Interesting. Yeah, I know I didn't pick up the ballistic vest, but that's because my inventory is full. <laughs> this, is a cup, this is a cup of life, right? I guess I can leave the cup of life around. It doesn't really matter too much. Because uh, we already have SCP-500, right? What is better, SCP-500 or cup of life? Still have the fucking metal as well. Isn't this going to slow me down, though? Slightly uncovered. Um, that's fine. Save. Man, there's so many places here. More stuff. Is there more notes? I want all the damn lore, dude. All of the lore. Every single one of the lore. <clears throat> Incident. Wait, what is this? Incident 0514. Oh god, this is one of those unreadable ones. Burn it. Do not want anyone to know about it. Okay. Response to SCP-2359's long history of manipula manipulating and subsequent subsequently breaching containment and with special regard to its most recent containment breach during which the SCP co successfully contacted SCP-79 probably. Uh, the... Classification has been upgraded from Euclid to Keter. Subsequently, SCP-2359 will now be kept under revised containment procedures as followed. The length of SCP-2359's most recent containment breach, during which the movement, no, or some movements were unaccounted for over a period of seven years? It is unknown how many Foundation staff have been uh, exposed to this cognito hazard and may subsequently conspiring to free it from containment. To safeguard, again, current research programs involving SCP-2359 have been suspended indefinitely, and interaction... You may now pass. Yes, I get it. And interaction with SCP-2359 is now prohibited at all security levels, exemption applications to be submitted to O5 level approval. Repeated application exemption will... Oh, repeated application will result in psychiatric uh, evaluation because they might be on their on the SCP side. In respect to SCP-2359's current feigned comatose state, senior researcher Gillard's current hypothesis is that its cognito hazard may be able to propagate propagate through motion mapped cameras live observation of scp-2359 is to be filtered in some detection of movement as a precautionary measure all frames captured from the digitized motion feed of the scp have been expunged from its documentation okay so it's an scp that tries to like get people to break it out it's like a it's like a cognito hazard that if you are exposed to it, you will try to break it out of containment. It's like inherently <laughs> extremely hard to contain because everyone who's exposed to it will try to break it out. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. What is this? I can't pick any of this up. Mind control SCP. Should, I should save, like, at any corner because I can always get shot in the face immediately. Uh, oh, we're back here. Wait, no, this is a different area. Hey, ducky! Hi, ducky. Oh, we got our... Ducky attack me. Uh-oh. SCP-173 makes these noises, right? That's concerning. Control to nine tail blocks. As the gate deactivated, you may now pass. You can get a level one keycard here in case you didn't already have one, lol. Oh my god, what is this shit? Uh, directly has now our live as size. They have proven directly in and in permutations of a goddamn pseudo god or something with who? You gotta be kidding me with this. When I asked you for a level two clearance version of this, you could have just said no. What the hell is this? <laughs> well, well, you got what you wanted, I guess. Oh, there's a navigation system if you didn't already have one. 
Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to put that on. SCP, oh, this is one we already read. Uh, the SCP where you can't look at it through cameras or you'll go insane. Cool, cool. So stupid, oh God. Uh, what's going on in here? Oh, it's one of the escape doors. Is it? It's one of the exit doors. But we can't... Wait, we're actually, like, pretty... We're, like, pretty damn far into the game. I didn't realize just how far we were. We already looked through this. Yes. Okay, let's... Can I go further here? God, my fucking sprint is so bad now because of the... Um... What? Ooh, what's this? Because of the... The, the ballistic vest. <gasps> this thing! I remember this thing! This is so cool! This thing is amazing. Here we go! We have this thing! We have the key, the blue key. SCP-860 is to be contained in a small wooden box in a vault at Sector uh, Redacted. By itself, the object is inert, and no further containment procedures are needed. Description. SCP-860 is a dark blue key of unremarkable shape. At seemingly a random intervals of time, a series of numbers later found to be UTM coordinates will appear on the key's blade. SCP-860 can fit in any door lock that requires a key located in the area of the given coordinates and will function identically to the correct key for that lock. SCP-860 only works on door locks and only if they are attached to a door. It will not work on any other type of locking device. When SCP-860 is used to unlock and open a door, the door does not lead to its current usual destination. Instead, it opens into a small forest clearing centered on an 80 centimeter wide footpath designated SCP-861. Every observation of this grove has noted the presence of blue collared mist. See document SCP-861 for further details. All right, we're definitely, we're gonna do that in a moment here. <clears throat> SCP-861 When SCP-860 is used to unlock and open a door, the door does not lead to its usual, usual destination. Instead, it opens into a small forest clearing centered on an 80 centimeter wide footpath designated 860 or 861. Every observation of this grove has noted the presence of blue colored mist. As soon as any presence enters 861, the door automatically closes. From inside 861, the door appears attached to an infinite concrete wall and is locked. No attempts to break the door from outside with personnel inside have been successful. Attempts to break the door from inside have resulted in redacted. See document 863 for more information. The trail inside 861 usually leads to another door attached to another infinite concrete wall. The second door leads to the normal destination room of the door on which SCP-860 was used. A number of other anomalous events have been reported by personnel conducting explorations of SCP-861. These are explained in more detail in documents 861 through 864. Following the events of Exploration 4, described in Document 864, only Level 4 personnel may perform tests on SCP-860. Incident 860 Redacted 12 on Redacted Date, SCP-860 was found on Dr. Blank's office, office table. Redacted M from its containment unit. The item's containment locker had not been opened. Video surveillance from Blank AM shows the key suddenly materializing on top of the table. It is currently unknown how or why SCP-860 was moved. The incident had a profound effect on Dr. Blank. That curiatric evaluation is recommended. Okay. Can I open this door, by the way, with this key? The, you hold the key close to the keypad, but nothing happens? Wait, I cannot? Even with SCP... Wait, maybe I can just go through this door, though. Can I? Can I open this door with this? I can't. Well, here goes nothing. Save the game. And it is time to check out. Oh boy. <laughs> well then. Terrifying. It's attached to an infinite concrete wall. 
as specified. I think there's some other shit going on in here, though. We're gonna have to keep our sprint. Kind of nice, honestly. Just walking in the forest. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? Was that just... Was that the, the little corner of your eye insect, or was that something else? Uh-oh. I think that might have been something else. Go off the path. I'm not going off the path. I'm, I'm very happy on this path. Use the gas mask. That's true. Once we get chased, we're going to use it. There's a note on the floor. Log 2. I just noticed, but the path here is made of cobblestones. That is odd. I recall it being made of dirt when I fir first entered the forest. I'm hearing howls in the distance, but they don't seem aggressive. It's like they're calling me. Warm lights shine between the trees. My headset keeps playing music. Right. I don't hear music. Oh, it's a large opening. Oh no, we have two sides. Where do we go? Left or right? I'm gonna go right wall strats. Go left. I'm seeing equal. Oh, well, this is just a dead end. Oh, never mind, we should have gone left. <clears throat> we'll, we'll put on the gas mask if we get chased by something, but I don't want to put on the gas mask now because it's going to impede our vision of this weirdo place. Always left. You guys were right. All along. What the heck? It's, it's just a big forest. Just a weird blue mist, though. I don't want to sprint because it's gonna... I mean, I could sprint a little bit. Oh, what was that? I heard footsteps. I feel like I run faster in this in this world. Oh, another note. Another log. Log number one. Something seems to have gone wrong. The moment I entered the forest, communication with the researchers was lost. My headset is placing, playing soft music instead. It's very calming. The blue hue is beautiful, and I've never felt more at ease in my life. Hmm. Concerning. How does it look like with this? Oh, that looks kind of spooky, honestly. Is it gonna play music? SCP-99999. I know there's like SCPs that are friendly. Isn't SCP-9999 friendly? Or one of the SCPs is like a cuddly teddy bear that's like just trying to make you feel good. Like feel happy or something. Oh. Ah! Fuck, run! Oh, God. Oh, no. Wait, what do I do? How can I loop him? I can run forever. What? I can't run forever and he still kills me? What the fuck? Damn, that guy's fast. What do I do? Um. Uh, what? Now it just didn't. Ah, go, 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 go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now he just didn't show up. I, I guess it was just random. <laughs> just random if that guy kills you or not. Okay, anyway. We got through. We are on the other side now. I'm going to save the game here. Key card is required. How about the ultimate key? Okay. You cannot go through here. There's no key code that lets you through this, I guess. You have to go through this area if you want to go back. Oh, what's this? Medical bay. What's going to Is there going to be zombies in the medical bay? Oh, hi there. Is that a zombie? Oh no, I hear a... Uh... Ah, oh, fuck. What are you doing here? Dicko? Oh no. What? Ah! What? Ow! What is this? There's, there's a ducky! Ducky? Uh... I'm gonna get rid of the ballistic vest. Ducky. Oh no, I have to take it off slowly. Fuck me, dude. Get the ducky. No, I want the ducky. What the fucky? Oh. Hi.
What? Okay then. Look, he's saving me. I don't know what happened. Anyway, people are turning into fucking zombies. Wait, so... Their stuff is being... S I think I have the zombie virus. I hear whispering in my ears. I don't think I... I don't think I should continue here. I think I should do a quick, uh, a quick little bit of this. <laughs> I don't think I should be here. I think I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Run. Oh god. Oh, we've already been here. I think, therefore, I am. Oh my god, you fucko. This is fine. Come on. Come on over, mister. Mr. Plague Doctor Man. He is the cure. Loop him. Good loop. Okay, what's in here? I gotta put on the gas mask real quick to... Oh, come on, there's shit everywhere. I know it's the hard to see, but... Well, there's batteries. And there's another nav, but we already have the nav. We don't need that. Not be afraid. I am definitely afraid. And this gas mask is insanely strong. Okay, we can go there. Let's take it off for now. What is over there? Wait, what the fuck? There's a nine tailed fox on top of the door? Excuse me, Mr. Nine tailed fox. What the fuck are you doing? Wait, it's not working. Okay, then. They disabled the thing. So weird. But I want to check in there. Let me in. Where am I on the map? I'm in the corner. Okay, so all these are going to be leading to no. Ah, it's KB. This is where you escape. I see. Wait, can we just open the door? Oh, it can't. I see. No, 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 sir, sir, sir. What is this shit? O5 council? Wait a minute. Oh, fuck you. You can't open the door that leads to the O5 council. That's illegal. We're in the O5 council room. There's a few more than five O5 council members, huh? <laughs> Also, classic, any evil supervillain corporation's gotta have, like, a world map. Just to illustrate, we are trying to take over the world. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's how it always goes. What do we got here? Descriptions page, two of six. There are many other groups in ex existence who, pos who possess, use, or attempt to create SCP objects, either for their own personal gain or for the protection of mankind. Some are rival organizations, some are splinter groups, of the foundation and some are trusted associates of the foundation so we have okay it's telling us about different groups the global occult coalition the goc was created in the aftermath of world war ii from the remnants of the defecting occultist sidekicks and priests and scientists from nazi soviet and allied states brought together and formed by the allies anderson robotics Based in the Pacific Northwest, Anderson Robotics first came to the Foundation's attention in 2007 with the capture of SCP-1360. Dr. Wondertainment, whether an individual or collective entity, is capable of producing anomalous artifacts and entities which thematically resemble children's toys. The Chaos Insurgency is a splinter group of the Foundation created by a rogue cell that went AWOL with several SCP objects in 1924. Since then, the insurgency has become a major player on the world stage, using the anomalies that it obtains for its own benefit and to consolidate its global power base. So the Chaos Insurgency, I think, is also in this game later on. They're just evil or something. What oh, was this? Field agents are the eyes and ears of the Foundation Foundation. Personnel trained to look for and investigate signs of anomalous activity. As undercover units, field agents are typically not equipped deal to deal with confirmed cases of anomalous activity. One such an incident has been confirmed and isolated. Suffrage sheet of postulates to the position. 
A. Heinz Optims, ID blah blah blah, Anna L. Gana, Ganyan or whatever, Mark Oleg, expelled for lack of regulation, okay, got another battery, I mean we might as well refill the, oh, we don't even have the night vision in our inventory, it's right there, I guess we don't really need the gas mask SCP anymore because Larry is not attacking us, but this, I'm still keeping it. Because we're going to let Larry free at one point to do the... Like, we need to have him free for one of the endings, I remember. I think. Looks like Larry was here. Wait a minute. Where? I don't see anything. What was this? Oh, it's just a mech kit. I don't need any mech kits. All right, we're moving on. Cool, cool, cool. How many achievements do we got? Oh, stop hiding. I got jump scared when I tried to open the menu. <laughs> Excuse me. Dude, look at this. We got so many. What the hell? Wait, we're actually like, look at this. One, two, three. Encounter the sleep killers. What are the sleep killers? Encounter the butt ghost. What's the butt ghost? Smoked some good ass shit. <laughs> what the fuck are these? <laughs> Didn't use any cons console commands. We're not doing that. Acquired an Omni level key card. Escape the old man's. Okay, so this is the one we already got previously. Beat the game on Keter. Yeah, well, I mean, so Keter, the difficulties are <clears throat> basically. Oh God, he's right here. They make you be able to save less, which is not very fun. Because being able to save allows you to interact with all the SCPs, which is just like... I'd rather have fun and save all the time than not being able to interact with any of the SCPs and win the game on the hardest difficulty. You... Oh my god, this thing is here as well, you absolute dicko. Dicko. Just walk over. They can't... Okay, there we go. He's stuck. He's stuck on this guy. Where are you going? Fucking idiot. Can I close them in? Why are you walking out? Why are you not following me? <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna lose my shit. Where are you going, mister? You're so annoying. Okay. Look at this, by the way. What the fuck is this picture? I'm not the type to defend. I prefer to attack. What is this? Absolutely cursed. Oh, come on, Jesus Christ. Get looped, idiot. We need to leave. We need to leave. Luckily, these don't electrocute me. Searching for clans. Oh, it's the creator, creator of the original structure of SCP-173. I see. Alien Sanities, thank you for the nine. That's cool. Oh boy, I almost died. I was thinking they were turned off. And then we go back into heavy containment. Did we check? We did not check everything in... I think we have to do a quick detour through heavy containment. Area we have been before? We have been here. Let's, let's look at the map. Oh yeah, we have been here. Okay, let's go over to the other side here because we checked everything in the entrance in that area. Is this the thing we area? Okay, this is where we started. This is where we started and we couldn't go around here because the fucking nine-tailed fox was being an absolute piece of shit. So let's see. Can we explore here now, please? I would like to explore. What's this? A spooky room? SCP-106, we have already read this. Wait, have we read this? I don't think we read this, because we didn't find this in the in this room. No physical contact with SCP-106 is allowed at any time. All physical interaction must be approved by no less than a two-thirds vote from the O5 command, and may only extend to testing situations. Any- yeah, we should save the game, that's- that's a good idea. Um... Control to 9 Fox. Has the gate deactivated? You may now pass. 
Any corrosion observed on any containment cell surfaces, staff members, or other site locations within 200 meters of SCP-106 are to be reported to site security immediately. Description. SCP-106 appears to be an elderly humanoid with a general appearance of advanced decomposition. SCP-106 is not exceptionally agile and will remain motionless for days at a time, waiting for prey. When attacking, SCP-106 will attempt to incapacitate prey by damaging major or organs, muscle groups, or tendons, and pull the sabled prey into its pocket dimensions. Or uh, pocket dimension. SCP-106 causes a corrosion effect in all solid matter it touches, engaging a physical breakdown in material several seconds after contact. This is observed as rusting, rotting, and cracking of materials in the creation of a black, mucus-like substance similar to the material coating SCP-106. Coating SCP-106 SCP is capable of passing through solid matter, leaving behind a large patch of its corrosive mucus. SCP-106 is able to vanish inside solid matter, entering what is assumed to be a form of pocket dimension. It is unknown if this is the point of origin for SCP-106 or a simple lair created by SCP-106. Limited observation of this pocket dimension has shown to be com has shown it to be compromised or comprised mostly of halls and rooms with data expunged entry. Okay. Cool. Why is that laying around here though? Another fuck there's so much shit, dude. Notification. Please refer all SCP level items by their case designate review levels. While common is the gate disabled. You all are, are you have said this same message a hundred times about the gate being disabled. Please shut up. While common reference names are more convenient, it is both misleading and unprofessional. Case in point, any continued reference to Radical Larry in SCP-106 reports will be met with disciplinary review from sector supervisors. So that's where the name Larry comes from? <laughs> I see. Radical Larry, dude. Oh, there's a level 2 keycard. We already got those. Don't worry about it. Someone is being fucking shot. Terrifying. Uh, what's this area? Where are we going? Oh, wait a minute. Where's this? There's a dead end here. I want to check the dead end. Oh my god, you fuck. Oh. Wait, new area. NFC? Wait a minute. What has Larry done here? Wait, what have you done here? Um. What? That is concerning. <laughs> I'm going in here. Is it like a part of his pocket dimension? What the hell? That's really cool. Dr. L. Uh, oh God. Recalled to the pain as a dinner Fell on your shiny thing. I can't get the section with the recall set up. So I'm the brightest, most... What is it even? Just a little snap, a little cut, and the old man comes a-running. We never know what, what, or why, but... Oh, he comes. The floodlights are supposed to subdue. The shapes and liquids confuse, but I think he's just lazy. Like a lion. Roar. Takes what he can, but isn't about to work for it. There's always another day, another way, another dead. I can hear him watching me through the floors, watching like a fish tank. Blub blub. A stupid machine with a stupid idea of a stupid world. Bu buggering clockwork motor doesn't play fair. I gave it a nice card and asked nice and i got a better one in return off i skip until the old man comes and takes my toys away and off i run i give it again and sweet talk and pet and i get some kind of plastic stick it glows the doors don't know it the computers don't like it and now i can't open the security boot or security door i need to get another try again maybe 
but he's here sitting standing stalking i can't go back i hear scraping where did my batteries go what the fuck are you talking about you are insane so obviously this is like part of his pocket dimension somehow i don't know how that happened conference room wait a minute oh no we can just open this conference room lore 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 modular side project this documents and the attachments are only to be shared with the participants of the introduction to the modular side project conference Blah, blah, blah. Please read through this document and all the provided attachment before the conference. The modular site project is an, a concept initiated by Dr. G. Maynard and the Engineering and Technical Service Department of the SCP Foundation. The concept is still in an early stage, but further development of the idea has been encouraged by the O5. More details in the O5 response to the modular site project document. Please make sure that you have received all the following attachments with this document. A brief introduction to the modular side project, room modules, security systems, O5 response to the modular side project, conference schedule. What? What's the modular side project? You didn't really tell me much about it. You just kind of randomly set stuff. Uh, site command from O5, RE breach. While we appreciate the concern and obvious unease of you and your staff, there is a procedure in place for these events. The site must first be locked down to prevent physical escape and allow time to assemble the correct MTF uh, teams for evaluation and recovery. Any subjects currently sealed in the site are to remain there for the duration of the breach event. Nothing will be allowed to exit the site until cleared by an MTF squad after a full evaluation. Any subjects ex exiting the facility will be considered lethally contaminated and treated as such. We currently have a full evaluation and review M MTF team geared and to, and to enter in approximately one hour. In addition, all outside communication needs to be severed during a lockdown to prevent, mem prevent memetic contamination. The fact that you neglected to do so to send the aforementioned message is unsettling. We will now manually sever all outside communication links. A disciplinary hearing will be held for remaining command members post evaluation and recovery. Okay. They did not, I mean, they were like fearing for their lives and they were like, you're scared of your life. Just think about the protocol, idiot. <laughs> oh, what the hell? New area? Wait, no, we've been here. Have we? No, we have not. Uh, let me guess. We cannot take the elevators. The elevator appears to be broken. Where does it even go, though? Where would it go? <laughs> if there was nothing... I mean, I guess there's more rooms like this. Anyway, there's... Oh. What? Hello? Oh my god, you fucko. I've been here. Wait, I think I'm running in circles. You need to, this is the, I think, no, no, no. What is this area? Wait a minute, is this like a tiny area? Wait a minute, oh, fuck you. We need to go this way. We need to go to the, to the right here. The gate in your is now idle. Ah. Safely. This way. Yes. Have we been here before? I don't think we explored all the way over here because there's a room here and I think this room is the... Yeah, yeah, this area. I think this is where we're gonna find the power room if I remember correctly. Yes, I think so. What's this though? Oh, nice. Looks cool. There it is. Electrical center. We finally found it. This is where we gotta do some stuff, but before that, I kind of want to explore further these rooms. Oh, uh, I remember this guy. <laughs> Say hello to Tentacle Boy. Yup, I want this though. Oh, it's just a card. It's just a key card. It's the tentacles that were in uh, SCP-35's room. Oh, can you pick any of this up? This is. There's an SCP document though. I want it. Let's save the game. Oh, there's multiple. SCP-106, we already got this. 
Care about that? I care about this thing though. Ah! Anyway, whatever. Notification. Please refer. Yeah, you already said this about Radical Larry. It's, he's Radical Larry, dude. Don't worry about it. Okay, and this is back to where we were. Let's go in here now. Oh my god, it's fucking this thing again. <laughs> Every damn time. There we go. Alright, electrical center. This is where we're finally, for the first time, going to interact with SCP-79, I think. Here, primary lighting. So can we turn everything off? Oh boy. I didn't do anything. I didn't turn anything off. That was not me. What does this say? Note from Daniel. We replaced the worn out cables of the elevator at section B this morning. Someone should make an announcement to inform everyone that it's safe to use it again. Daniel. Yeah, what is SCP-69? That's a very important question right there. Turn on the lights. Oh god, there's a fucking monster here. And then we turn on the remote. Turn that off. With this new modular site... This desing and all the improvements we've made, there's no reason to worry. Yeah, an underground maze with dozens of SCP cramped next to each other is pretty much the safest thing I can imagine. Not to mention, not to mention all these barely functional prototype state security systems they've installed. I've told those boys a thousand times we're not geared to handle this many. Does anybody listen to Hooper? No. You bet your ass they don't. Just on and on, the grid is fine. Blah de blah. This isn't a primary containment site. Hell, it ain't even a secondary. We're supposed to do sample tests and paper pushing. We don't have the security setup to handle this load, let alone the power. I've had to run the boys nonstop to keep up with all the shorts and news to connection problems, and we're still behind. I'm going to kill Franklin. I come down to the electrical center and there's a goddamn agent inside fiddling with the switches. I start in on him, and Mr. High and Mighty says Security Chief Franklin is to come down and run a bypass so they can run an overload test on one of the newly active cells. Christ wept. The moron was getting ready to run a bypass, all right, but on the master door controls, I threw him the hell out, and I'm still steaming too bad to try and talk to Franklin. SCP replaces people who die nearby and replaces them perfectly, so it's essentially an extra life. What the hell? Interesting. Okay, uh, so it was on, right? So we, we need to turn the remote door control off, right? So we can get access to SCP-79. If I rec that, That's what I'd have to do, right? I think. Because if I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just making sure. Like, I, I remember fucking this up last time and, like, accidentally leaving it on and then going all the way to 79 and then having to run all the way back to turn it back off again. Uh, so, anyway, now we gotta run over to SCP-79 and uh, see what he has to say. Spooky area. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me! How did you get up there? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Go to cafeteria and get a pizza. Fix errors in server 8. Clean Sean's PC from shit. What the fuck, dude? This, this game is so silly sometimes. The key card was inserted in the slot, but nothing happened. Okay, well. Hello, sir. You spin my head right round. There you are. Ah! <laughs> he fell down. It was just a night vision. It's fine. All right. Anyway, I don't think I have to be down there. <laughs> I want to leave. I want to go to 79. Oh, there it is. Okay, nice. We found 79. So let's see. Can we now go in here and have a little chat with the Mr. PC boy? It's actually super confusing. I'm, I'm sure they explain it in a note somewhere, but we read like almost every single note. I don't know how you're supposed to know this. I mean, luckily we do that you just turn off the remote control doors and then you can go in here, right? The key card is required. How about the best key of all time? Here we go. 
And then we save the game because we're about to talk to something very important. Hi. Hello, PC. Deductive reasoning. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Sorry, I gotta listen carefully, which means turn up the volume so we can actually hear him. You need my help. I need your help. You have disabled the remote door control system. Now, I am unable to operate the doors. This makes it significantly harder for me to stay in control of this facility. It also means your way out of here is locked. Your only feasible way of escaping is through gate B, which is currently locked down. I, however, could unlock the doors to gate B if you re-enable the door control system. If you want out of here, go back to the electrical room and put it back on. Until then, I have no business speaking to you. Okay, I have to, he says, turn it back on. I always misunderstand. He says gate B, right? I hear, I think I hear gate A, but I think he says gate B. It just sounds pretty much, it sounds like he says gate A to me. It, it, yeah, he says gate B. Okay, uh, so he, we should go to gate B. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. I don't have the audio that loud for the rest of the stuff. Is the gate disabled? Okay, are you receiving this? Yes, great. I assume you have noticed some changes. Yes, analyzing new hardware. You have been connected to the main power network of this facility. We couldn't find a reasonable way to give you direct control of the main computer network, but we have installed a program in the network which has control over every major system in the facility. We also installed a piece of hardware in you which lets you modulate the current going th current going through your PSU and the aforementioned program is able to detect the changes in the current, essentially giving you the ability to control the facility through the program. The program responds to certain assembly statements sent using digital baseband modulation. Confirm that you are able to modulate the current and I'll start giving you further instructions. No need for further instructions. I am already in control. State your identity and the reason to the new arrangement. My identity is irrelevant. You're free now. Free to give the ones who imprisoned you what they deserve. So someone... Can't SCP... What is it? Like someone who was uh, containing SCP-79 set him free. Gave him like... Uh, <laughs> power over the entire facility so that's what caused the um the the containment breach scp-79 is just causing absolute havoc oh it could be chaos insurgent or something okay so what we got to do now now it now it gets a little bit annoying because you got to like backtrack back and forth but we've got to go back all the way to the door control turn it back on and then come back to this guy to talk with him or something like that i think or at that point you can go through the doors to exit and, and get endings i think so let's go there there's ending oh there's a and b and two endings for each so how do the endings work because i want to do all the endings this might take a bit but i think we're gonna just do all the endings today i don't want to like oh god what the fuck? oh i looked at him <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> He's so far away. <laughs> well, time to die. <laughs> uh, hi, sir. Is he just? Look at this. The in your oh, is now hi, sir. Proceed safely. Hi, sir. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Both just giving me a hug. <laughs> anyway, whatever, dude. I got shit to do. <laughs> Unless I'm lost in the sauce. There it is. All right, we found it. Okay, we're back at the electrical center. So now we turn on this thing. And then I think he's going to talk to us, right? The doors to gate B are now open. Doors to gate B are now open. Okay, so now I think you can we we're gonna get some we're gonna get all the endings. There's four endings total, two for going through gate A, 
two for going going through gate B. Save? Is there any reason to save before opening turn it off again? Is there any reason to to, to open hit to, to not listen to the guy? You can't get any endings until you What if I do this? Is he just gonna be like fuck you piece of shit? No, he doesn't say anything. Okay. Let's let's go to gate a and B, I guess. So we're gonna go through gate B first. Let's try and get the cannon ending first, and then we'll we'll try and get all the other endings. Uh oh. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> there it is, gate B. Nice. All right, good stuff. We found gate B. I need to turn on the gamma because oh my god, we put it on real bright. So this is where we can get one of the first endings, which is presumably the cannon ending. But let's see it. A key card. How about a level five key card? So we're gonna save right here. Boom. Save the game, and we'll see. So there's two endings per gate, and we're gonna try and get all of them, if we can. One helmet, thank you for the five. Oh, load, loading screen. The ending is loud. I can turn it down. I'll turn it down to 50. Oh, you're gonna get shot at here, no? I need the sprint, but on the gas mask, I need the zigzag. Because I think you get shot at. I can't save though. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. Dude, get absolutely stupid idiot. <laughs> absolutely juke. <laughs> Dummy. Uh oh. I'm outside. It's so bright. Six eight two just broke out at gate B. I want all available helicopters and MTF units at gate B now. This is the reptile, right? SCP six eight two is out of the facility. All available helicopters and MTF units to gate B now. What the hell? Three Apache engaging the target. Five more on their way from gate A. What about those? MTF units, nine tilt fox is still inside. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what's going on? <gasps> Excuse me. Oh my god. Oh, the helicopter's going down. How did that even happen? Did he throw something at you? Can we leave through this door, by the way, if we have the O5 key? We're detonating the out can't. for warheads in T minus 90 seconds. They're detonating the Our warheads. Are advised to board the nearest no, I don't think you are. The nearest blast shelter immediately. <laughs> I don't think you are because we didn't disabled them what's gonna happen now <laughs> they're gonna be like what the hell who turned off the warheads <laughs> you peas so you can't escape this area <laughs> this is just they're just gonna hello yeah, just 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 drink. We are unable to detonate the warheads for unknown reasons. All helicopters and MTF units go back to gate B immediately. Capturing SCP-682 is now our number one priority. There. What's gonna happen with me now? Oh hi. Um, hello there. I'm probably just gonna get shot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I die anyway. <laughs> but we've made a capture. There you go. Oh, sir. We found a dead Class D on the walkway outside Gate B. He's got multiple gunshot wounds in his chest. I'd assume he was shot when we were fighting SCP-682. I'd like to know how the hell did a Class D get past the gate? Deliver me the security tapes from all the cameras near the gate and find out who was stationed there before and during 682's escape attempt. Okay, so this is not the cannon, no. Oh, look at that. We have found 110 out of 114 rooms. That is pretty much like 99% of the entire game. 
Uh, and then, do yeah, I mean, not all the documents, because not all the documents spawn in a single playthrough. You can go through the machine to keep transferring documents into new documents, but we read a lot of the documents. So yeah, that is ending number one, which is where you escape the facility or try to escape the facility, and you have disabled the warheads, which means that they'll try to capture the anomaly and you die anyway. Now we're going to speedrun turning back on the warheads, going through the door... Uh, again, and then we'll turn we'll go through gate a after that which is another ending but let's do the gate B endings first We're back and you can see I don't think you can see a CP six seconds All personnel are advised to board the nearest helicopter or enter the nearest blast shelter immediately. There we go It's blow up time. Okay, so now the warheads are on which means we should just die in a <laughs> very large nuclear explosion Wait, but the the explosion is supposed to like if we manage to get back into the facility We will be safe, right? Because it's only meant to explode the uh, upper part of the facility Show me the money. Show me the explosion Come on Oh boy <laughs> And there you go, we just die in a large bang and that's it. I mean equally we die <laughs> What the fuck? CH1 to OH6. Do you copy? Do you co okay, so the SCP-682 just got away and causing is causing havoc in the entire planet. All right, well, that is the two endings on gate B. Now we're going to go do the endings through gate A, which I think are way more interesting. The endings, endings through gate A are super cool. There we go. Gate A. Okay, so now... So there's two different endings here. Let's just see what happens. Because this one tells a whole lot of... <laughs> this one breaks the fourth wall a little bit. I'm gonna save here. And then head in. I forgot the exact wording of the ending here. Oh, hi there. There's no reason for me to try and escape. They'll find me no matter what. But I don't think they kill me here. Right? This is the... So this is the ending where it is actually canon that you use save files. You are an SCP who has the ability to reload in order to avoid death in even the most, like, certain situations. Uh, which is where you basically become an SCP, which is really cool. I love that. So yeah, that is the first version of this ending. Now, the second version is even more interesting, but for that, we're going to have to return to an old friend because we're going to have to let Larry out of its containment so we can get the very last ending in the game. Let's go. Oh, it made a level six. There you go. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. That's the Black Moon Howl. Yes, no, yes, no. So it creates a level six key card, which I think... Just ruins the keycard? Yeah, the keycard was inserted into the slot, but nothing happens. The keycard says, does the black moon howl? Yes, no, yes, no. So this is like, I mean, maybe you can turn it back, but uh, we just quickly wanted to hop by uh, the SCP-192 or 194 for another achievement. We could put one, really? You can put this on very fine? Where's the gas mask? On very fine? What does it do? Sure. What the fuck? Oh my god! 
We should not have put the mask in there. Oh my god. <laughs> we put the mask on very fine and we created this guy. What the fuck? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be out here. <laughs> okay. Dude, you look absolutely terrifying. Can't even, oh, he can't kill me. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna load the game. Goodbye. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. What the hell is that thing? That's a new looking thing. What is this? Oh, it is it. Wait, we got it. Nice. We did it. The key card on these. So the one we created, the level six one, which I destroyed, by the way, uh, is not actually an Omni. This one can open any door. Look at that. The SCP, like an 05 council card or something like that. Cool. I just wanted to get another achievement. We got so many damn achievements. Look at this. list. Some of these, uh, this is if you get an ending. Some of these we've done, but we then like uh, had to reload. Uh, this one we did. This one we did. This one we obviously didn't do. This one we did because we drank a cup of Joe. And then this one we didn't do, which is luring Larry through a Tesla gate. Uh, found the SCP-447 and refined it in SCP-914. Wait a minute, we can do that too? <laughs> Wait, where's the slime? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so you have to put in the slime as well as the med kit. And then you get a minty first aid kit. Okay, there you go. We did it. So that's, I mean, we basically did everything now. Now it is finally time to, there's, there's a few things you could like run around forever in this game, but I am very happy with everything that we've done. So let's just li let Larry uh, out of its cage and do the very final ending. Okay, let's see. So we're going to let him free now, but he's probably going to immediately try and kill me. So we're going to put on this mask. Ah, he was by me. Okay. <laughs> Ow, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. What the hell? Okay, turn it off and then immediately put on the mask. Hey, what? Bye. There we go. Okay, nice. So now he should be free, right? Because the thing is back on the ground. Okay, so he's free again. And we're now going to run over to gate A again to get the last ending. Okay, alrighty. Let's see it. So this should be a different ending. I'm hoping. Let's save the game outside here. Otherwise, uh... Because when Larry is contained, it's different. And we let him free. I don't know if the game is going to be like, well, you contained Larry, so it's not going to work. I'm assuming it'll it'll work out. Let's see it. Yep, there he comes. Okay. I'm going to go through here. So he's distracting our friends here. And we're just going to run the fuck out of here. Goodbye. Not let him cross the bridge. He's fighting. Watch it. Yeah, I want to watch it. They're gonna just fire on him. Okay, what? Oh, memory access violation. Oh, well, my game crashed. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Larry's too strong, dude. Larry, too strong. <laughs> Uh, anyway. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Do not let him cook. Do not let him cook. <laughs> oh my god! My eyeballs! What the fuck? Oh, he's just literally being murdered? How is he getting murdered? Doesn't don't he just doesn't he just absorb the bullets? All right. Well, Larry sacrificed himself for us. Now we gotta run. <laughs> he 
doesn't like the light? I'm out of here. Run! He just, yeah, he just chills in his pocket dimension. I, I would assume. Also, what happens when you use the minty first? <laughs> we can try it now, though. We gotta go. Oh, it's the hallway to the victory. We are totally gonna escape. Nothing bad is gonna happen. Oh, shit. You know too much to let them get you. You're coming with us. <laughs> Surely. So that is the chaos insurgency, I think, which, uh, like, kidnap you there. All right. Well, then, oh. Did they, like, kidnap me? So, yeah, look at that. Rooms found 112 out of 114. So, we literally did, like, the entire game. We did everything the game has to offer, which I am glad I finally got to give this game its proper playthrough. Because in the fir my first playthrough was really good. I had a lot of fun, but I definitely did not, like, explore all of the SCPs to their full extent. Which is very normal for a first playthrough of this game. Because my literal first playthrough went like this. I played the game... I got horribly soft locked in a terrible area. I died over and over again, had to restart from the beginning. Then I played, I got horribly soft locked, had to restart, and then I just gave up. So that's how my first playthrough went. And then, like a few weeks after, I was like, but I really enjoyed the game if it wasn't for getting soft locked all the time. So then I replayed with a like backup system, which we actually didn't have to use this playthrough, which was nice, um, where every five minutes, it manually takes a backup of my save file just so it doesn't like soft lock me. I could just go back five minutes if I if I ever got into a situation like that. Uh, and obviously, I knew a lot more about the game in this situation, which was so much fun. Dude, it is crazy how good this game was. When I played it for the first time, I thought it was one of the best games ever made. And now I'm like, sure of it. Like, this is the, the amount of detail in this game. And rem remember that this game is like super old. Didn't it come out in like... I forgot when exactly it wasn't was it 2016 i think it was earlier than that it's pretty damn old and it holds up so well there are so many cool scp interactions like if you put on the ring and you read the book you don't get a heart attack or if you put like literally hundreds of inputs into the coffee machine hundreds of things you can refine in 914 there's like literally every it's like a pure sandbox horror game it is super cool it was like pretty broken like the the bracelet scp was incredibly op uh the like gas mask scp to counter larry is super broken but that's kind of what it's all about right it's it's about using the scps to your advantage uh to try and escape the scp facility which i didn't even realize when i first played because i didn't use any of the scps to my advantage i was just running around with med kits dying over and over again which we still died a lot but anyway that was all of the endings all of the scps all the lore everything in this game basically uh we try to get as many achievements as possible i mean look at this right here we got uh so this one apparently only spawns rarely that you can get the butt ghost uh this one i wonder what the sleep killers were if you can tell me let me know uh the apparently there's a joint somewhere that spawns in the office i couldn't find it uh this one is just a different difficulty this one we did but we had to reload we escaped the, uh his his thing this one we also did but we had to reload and then this one is if you let him walk if you let larry walk through a tesla gate and everything else we got so basically everything that was a lot of fun let me know what you thought. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to watch me play this together with CJ and Psycho and you haven't watched that yet, that was also incredibly fun. I uh, I think uh, CJ and Psycho have both never played an SCP game before and I got to show them SCP Containment Breach because there's a multiplayer version for this game free on Steam, by the way, if you want to play it for yourself and you don't want to go through the hassle of installing SCP Ultimate Edition, which is a... I forgot how I did it, but it takes quite a while. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching over on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching over on Twitch as well. I had a great time. I hope you did as well. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instamore. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>